Welcome, everybody. Welcome to fucking Super Smash Brothers Ultimate with Folger Ovid. Introduce yourself, brother. What's up, everybody? Folger Ovid here. I am the other Smash Obsessed Lamb Brother, and we are ready to watch our friends smash each other all morning. Let's go. Let's fucking move, gamers. All right. First things. First things first. Technical checks. Technical, Technical checks. checks. How Technical. can you guys? I'm gonna flick through through this. Is there a delay on the audio, and can you hear the Smash Brothers? Can you hear us? Can you hear Come the in. clicking Do in time with the thing? Is there a delay? Is everything fine? Because we've been doing some really scuffed work on this to try and make it work, and it's been a little bizarre. Does it sound fine <laughs> to you guys? It's all good. <laughs> Let's go. Perfection. All right. So, as an explanation for what we will be doing today. There are 26 members of Niji Sanji EN, and we will be having a tournament with 26 participants. All of them will be controlled by an AI, and we will be choosing one member of each one member of Niji Sanji to be represented by one character from Super Smash Brothers. And so the first part of this collab is going to be us figuring out who would be who in this video game, which I think is going to be really fucking hilarious on its own. I think that is going to be like the most fun part. <laughs> I mean, the tournament's going to be great as well, but it's just going to be like us arguing about you know, this part. There are only a few where we both like looked at each other over like, okay, yeah, that that that's Rosemi. We both know who is yeah. Rosemi. Rosemi was immediately. <laughs> We've already talked about it a little bit, like who would be who. But without further ado. We are going to go with the A tourney format, 1v1s across the board, tournament legal stages only, items off, everyone is going to be going in, completely ham, and I can't wait to see what happens. Let's give it a go. Yeah, me either. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. All right. So I we're think I'm a bit louder than you on your stream, by the way. Hmm? You're a bit louder I than me? I think I'm a bit louder, yeah. All right. Just a touch. Uh, just a bit loud. Okay. Uh, let me turn the volume on my microphone up just a little bit. Hold on. Volga's a bit loud. All right, let me hold, hold on. Let me just turn you down by just a little bit. Uh, can you speak for me, brother? Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? I'm proud to be here, brother. Well, I think that's about good. That yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, All right. So we're going to begin by going in fucking debut order. So to you, Volga, let's begin with who was it that debuted first? Was it Elira or was it? It was Pomu, right? I think we should just go by, like, in general, Lazulite. And, uh, all right, Lazulite. We're going to get very confused very quickly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't even remember the Noctix debut order. <laughs> <laughs> all right, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Who would Elira Pandora be in Smash Ultimate? Got to be some sort of dragon. I'm really sad we can't do Tiki. Like, if we could just make her the Smash, <laughs> the Smash Summon Tiki. Oh, my that would God, be yeah. <laughs> Should be OP, but it'd be perfect. Uh, unfortunate, yeah. And then we just put, um, for you, we put, what was his name? Gallium from World of Light. We just insert a boss. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So, it, hear me out. For for Alira, I feel like the most fitting character is probably Rosalina, because, like, celestial, like, sky, star, power, sky that kind of stuff. Like, you know... I don't know if there's an outfit that really fits her color. Like, yeah, the default outfit has the blue, you know, the sky colors. I feel like that might kind of work. I think the light blue would be the perfect one. Oh! Uh, the only other one I might argue argue with would be Corrin. Like, someone chat you. Corrin. Yeah, they just said Corrin. That actually makes that perfect was, sense. Because Corrin even has like the dragon transformation, so it's very like Alira being able to go back and forth between the two. All right, I think Corrin actually works really well for Alira. And I'm willing silver. to see that. Yeah, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. And that leaves Rosalina open for someone else. All right, Alira will be Corrin. Nice. Next up. Fish. Great character, too. Who? Fish. All right, so I was chatting about this with Sonny Briscoe before we went live. Who would mm. Sonny Briscoe be? Oh, who would Sonny Briscoe? Who would Finana be? <laughs> I feel like there's only one choice for Finana. I think you know who it is. Politano? Nah, it's I fucking Greninja. Right now. <laughs> Greninja the... Yo, yeah, fish with the little the flipper hands, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Is there like a light blue? Okay, the default Greninja kind of works for Finana. Yeah, I don't really see yeah, anyone. Shame there's not a lighter blue. I didn't even think about that, but that's so good. <laughs> with the fucking fish powers. Oh my god. All right, and just last hanging on from to a wall, just staring at you like nipple check. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, and okay, you know what? Actually. Now that we've freed up um, Rosalina, maybe because like 
fairy with a magic wand, maybe Rosalina would work for Pomu because I genuinely think for Pomu, like Rosalina, Daisy Peach, any Peach might be a really good one. Or Peach Rosalina. Might be. Okay, hear me out. Right? One really we works know for me. I've learned my lesson from my tier list video. I know now that Pomu has a human form and is more powerful than just being a seven centimeter tall fairy. But she oh, does yeah. have a seven centimeter tall form. So what if Luma is little Pomu and Rosalina <gasps> is big Pomu? It's the pair of Pomus. Okay, I love that. Rosalina, perfect. Double Pomu. Plus, with just the green, perfect, too. Like, her, like, shooting sparkles at people as well. <gasps> just that's true. It's very, coming right at you. it's very fairy-like, isn't it? Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, 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 right. With the green skin as well and the blonde hair, it's got to be Rosalina yeah. as Pomu. Oh, I love it. It's like Pomu in her angsty emo phase. Yeah. Great. Oh, that's true. Okay. Now, we've already talked a lot about... Obsidia, and I feel like every member of Obsidia for me is pretty much guaranteed. Saying, okay, I just saw a chat saying Pomu should be Snake though, because she's solid Snake. Okay, <laughs> I would actually be willing to to do that. That Pomu is represented I, I don't by think Solid that's Snake. That's a terrible idea, but I also think Sunny needs to be someone. <laughs> that's true, actually. Oh my god, like okay. who is more Solid Snake? Pomu, who yes, definitely has the spirit of Solid Snake. Or Sonny, who genuinely just lives life like he is Solid Snake. <laughs> That's true, actually. Okay, well, there's always chance to go back and change things later if we change our minds, okay? So let's... Yeah. Um, all right, all right. Next up, we've got Obsidia. And first to debut in Obsidia was Rosemi. Hear me out, chat. I don't think anyone has the right to argue with me on this one. <laughs> we both agreed with this. Pink Piranha Plant. Simple, piranha. simple geometry, guys. It just makes sense. <laughs> In darkness, she blooms. Exactly. And she's got, us all. She's got thorns. She's got the form. leaves. It just makes sense. <laughs> oh, she's gonna love that. <laughs> <laughs> I now, see half of chat being like yes, and the other half being like cease, stop, no. <laughs> don't turn my Oshi into a plant. She is a plant. She is a plant. It's in the law. Come it's, on, guys. It's in the law. She's a rose and piranha plant. He brings the thorns. All right. You wouldn't love your Oshi in a true form? Come on. Come on. Now, Petra. Petra. Petra is, oh, a, there's pe only one choice. Petra is a penguin. Who she else? She finally gets her big form. <laughs> who else in Smash is a penguin? The only answer is King DDD. King DDD. I like this idea because it also kind of feels like Petra is just like, my dad can beat you. <laughs> like, she just called in her dad. Yeah, <laughs> Petra phoned like, her dad and is like, yeah, my big brother's gonna come beat you up. <laughs> so good. His attack set is so perfect for Petra as well. Everyone thinks she's weak. She's an eldritch horror. Let's release her upon the earth. With all her spinies, her giant hammer, let's go. <laughs> it feels like there are a lot of members, a lot of um, members of the, at least the earlier waves of Niji who began with very simplistic lore and over time just revealed that they were endlessly powerful. <laughs> yeah, they all just right. started with like the basic outline and they were like, and they were like, no, wait no, a minute, no, no I, want to, I, want, I want to be <laughs> devastating. Let me, let me, let me think about this. Okay. And last of all, we have another cursed rep for Obsidia. I don't think there's anyone else that Selen Tatsuki could be, but Ridley. Yeah. It's in the thumbnail. She's the it Luna Dragon. It has to happen. Mm -hmm. The Luna Dragon. There is a purple dragon in Smash. How else do we represent Selene? Exactly. And she's a gamer. You know she's got to be BMing everyone. You know she's got to be grabbing them off the ledge if she's one stock up and just taking them down with her. It's got to be perfect. Exactly. See, I was chatting about this with Sunny, right? If we had the time and the energy, wouldn't it be wonderful to do an amiibo tournament in this same style? Because then you could teach oh, each you amiibo could give them the right to, kind of techniques to act like themselves. You could make the Rosami amiibo teabag every five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> just anytime she gets a kill, it's just ultra speed teabagging. <laughs> yeah, like, like just stay at the side, wait for the enemies to come to you, and then just just devastate them with the hammer, suck and cock them. Oh man, mm -hmm. that'd be great. <laughs> there is um, I know there's like teabag tech in this game where if you like rock your thumbstick in between the down and like the diagonal down motion, or the side and the diagonal down motion, that you can like, achieve like rapid like sort of tass teabags, which is just really funny. That Smash yeah. players are so salty they've thought about a way of doing this. I saw Alpha Rad once did that. He he taught one of his amiibos to just teabag and taunt continuously, <laughs> and somehow it became his strongest amiibo. <laughs> so, let's go. <laughs> I love his amiibo videos. I think he's a super entertaining YouTuber. Okay, um, Ethereum. First, Ethereum, I, yeah. Ethereum is going to be a little 
a little yeah. difficult, uh, yeah. but I reckon we'll be fine. So, first to debut in Etheria was Nina. Who would Nina, Nina Kosaka be? I mean, there is a fox in this game, but I feel like Fox McCloud doesn't really suit and Nina doesn't, too no. much. Um, I'm who's... trying to think if there's anyone else who would fit We Fit. Oh, Bayonetta! Bayonetta! Bayonetta Yo, for Nina? She is the mom character. She's the mom! Oh, wait! White hair! White hair, Bayonetta! Did Easy! Red, red dress? Easy Flying game. Red. Nina is that Bayonetta. Let's go. <laughs> That's so spot on. <laughs> Everybody else rocks up to just fight with their fists. Nina comes out with a double... No, the quadruple guns. Guns on the hands, <laughs> guns on the feet. <laughs> and Nina has all of those edits as well of her, like, pulling out a gun. Just in, a, like, a very, <laughs> very innocent-looking face, but just pops a Glock on you. I love it. That's all right, so, so I good. believe next it was Anna. So I feel like for Anna, like, sort of songbird, heavenly... Hellish creature. Yeah, I, can, hmm? I think we're going in the same direction. I think Angel boy. Pit would be pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it's gotta be Pit. Yeah. Uh, Anna's got, um, she's got like sort of like very, very fair blonde hair. Not blonde, brown hair. Yeah, it's so, almost, yeah, it's super light. It's almost, but we can go for like the blonde Pit for Anna, I think. I think that kind of fits. Try Dark Pit. See if Dark Pit has a good color for her. Everyone, a Dark Pit's hair does not change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. I thought he had, yeah, even with the clothes the same as Pit, it's just the same. Okay, yeah, go for Blonde Pit. That works. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that works. And that's oh. Anna. Chat is arguing for Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff for Anna? For the song, but I can see it. Yeah, for I, the I... singing as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She lulls... You know what? Oh, she lulls you into a sense of sleep. And keeps that... you off the edge and just... DMs you while you're off the edge just doesn't let you recover. Something also bad. something also about Enna being the kind of person who has a secret ability that if she falls asleep on top of you that you instantly combust and die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she does like to remind everyone she's a virgin for a reason. <laughs> there you go. Do not let her fall asleep with you. <laughs> By choice, she's keeping that power under wraps, doesn't want to go to jail. Yeah, she's keeping everyone else safe. <laughs> also, Anna has bows in her hair, and this Jigglypuff has a bow, so I think that kind of works. That's spot on. I love it. Plus, it's like the perfect Anna energy. She's like, so cute, so sweet, so innocent, until you anger her. Fucking bitch. Jigglypuff. <laughs> I love it. Oh, All right. so good. Now, Millie. So I was having a, I was having a think about this earlier, right? We have two sort of magic users in Niji. Most predominantly, we've got Millie, who's a witch, and Shu, who's a sorcerer. Now, originally, yeah. my plan was to make Robin Shu, but I can't help... I have another idea for Shu, and we'll get to him oh, yeah. later. Okay. I'm kind of thinking... Oh, let's think Millie? Let, I'm th thinking let's go female Robin for, um, for Millie, like the blonde Robin, because sorcerer, you know, magic, she's got that, like, life drain ability... You know, sort of, I feel as though yeah. wi witchy power. Are you thinking something else, maybe? Hey, I, I almost feel Zelda's a bit too big, but maybe not quite magic, but maybe Isabel. Like, Isabel has the same kind of gremlin energy as Millie in my eyes. That is actually extremely true. Because, yeah, before you said Robin, I was like Zelda, but then, yeah, Robin could fit. But, yeah, I feel like Isabel captures, like, the exact energy of Millie. That's true. Like, adorable, sweet, but also terrifying. That's true. We have <laughs> to think control. We have to think personality as well as, like, powers and all of that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I think Isabel yeah. works for Millie. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's go for it. Let's go for, um, let's go for that. Do she have, like, a, that's, the orange coat is Millie, definitely. Okay. Yeah. If there was a Toon version of Zelda, if we had Toon Zelda in this, that would be perfect. But yeah, no, Isabel, on. Perfect. Remu Endo. Remu Endo. Our resident ghost. I hadn't actually thought about this one yet. No, me neither. I have one random pick, which I know is going to make her really upset, but I think it would be kind of funny. <laughs> Which one? The only character relative to ghosts in this entire game is Luigi. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pac-Man. Oh I mean, God, both Pac-Man and Luigi, like, fight ghosts. I didn't... I forgot about Pac-Man fighting ghosts. Yeah. I don't think Pac-Man really... Pac-Man's too, ha Pac -Man's too happy like to be Reimu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we fit Trader because of, like, the whole... 
She looks kind of ghostly thing, but I don't think her moveset really fits Reimu. Nah. I don't think any of their movesets really fit Reimu. Hmm. This is a hard one. Now, the, mm. the chat is saying Mewtwo. Do you guys, we have an actual psychic in Niji EN. Oh. Oh, that's what you were going for for Shu. I do like Mewtwo as Shu. But I like uh, where uh, chat was I going. Was thinking, the whole um, idea of, like, no, I was energy. thinking uh, Uki would be Mewtwo because he's an actual psychic. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, good. it's good. It's good. It's good. It's <laughs> good. You're going to love the one I have picked for Shu. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah. Who? Hmm. hmm. This one's really hard. Holy crap. I'm going to say for the sake of for the sake of timeliness. If you're not if you're going to make Mewtwo Uki, that does free up. I thought he was going to be Kirby. Real. I mean, Uki does main Kirby, but then so does Reimu. So that hmm. That's what I, I'm saying Kirby for Reimu. But then also Kirby is way too happy to be Reimu. <laughs> but also a destroyer of universe. <laughs> I feel like he pretends to be happy, but he's also like a hell hath no fury like a like a Remu scorned. Scorned Remu, yeah. Oh, we can make him black and white like he's a ghost. Oh, I guess. I, yeah. Okay. All I right, Remu could be Kirby. That's, that's cute. Let's do. It. All right, 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 right. I think that fits up better than anything else we've got, like Luigi, Pac Man. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's trainer. cute. I think that's cute. Okay. Also, I think Raymu would love the idea of just taking people off the edge, spitting them out underneath the stage, and flying away. It's been like it was very Raymu. Like bitch. <laughs> she deals with us the way she wants to. Let's go. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's... Oh, chat argued Lucina. No, no, no. I think Kirby. Yeah, I think I think Kirby's a little more fitting. I like the kind of wackier picks, like what Jigglypuff being Anna. I think is super creative. I love that. That's the thing. There's a lot of people in chat who are trying to argue for, like, looks, and it's like, that's fair, but not everyone can be attractive. This is Smash Bros. This isn't just an anime brawler. <laughs> yeah, exactly, though. I mean, we have the 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 iconic King DDD as Petra and the iconic Ridley as Selene. I mean, it's fitting. You might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> this reminds me Honestly, of... I think Selene would love that so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It also reminds me of the tooltip you get that tells you about DDD's neutral B, which is like, it's the same as Kirby's, but he doesn't copy their powers. And I quote, because DDD is already perfect. There you go. That's Petra all over. That's Petra. She deserves it. All right. <laughs> we need to put more respect on Petra's name nowadays. Let's go. Luxium. Luxium. You want to start with yourself? Nah, we gotta go debut. I remember the debut order for fucking, fucking Luxian. We'll start with we'll start with my boy Luca. And now, I was talking about this with Sunny as well. Hear me out, right? Who is very hyperactive, hilarious, a prankster, blonde, massive, massively muscular, and kind of terrifying. Terry, you're absolutely right. Which is why you're going Ken. Oh, I thought you were going to go Ken after that. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, which is why I'm picking Ken. I mean, Ken has his hair, like Terry's very but good. Terry, Terry is very Luca. He's the, he's like, yeah, come on. Like, I, I think that, that works. Tell me your moves. Exactly. Like, that yeah, works that really, really well him. for Luca, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's great. Okay, now, moment of truth, right? So we could. Mm -hmm. we The only wizard slash um, sorcerer in Smash is Robin, but I feel like it's a bit of a cop-out to make Shu Robin, right? Mm -hmm. Hear me out. What is Shu's favorite object in the world? Banana. <gasps> Yo, Diddy, Diddy Kong. Kong. Yo, he would love that so freaking much. You Shu brings the banana. And there's Shu even a purple alt for him as well with brown hair. Oh my god. It was made for him. Banana. Shu I did not think of that, but that suits his personality so freaking much. It's just this little monkey running around throwing bananas. Yeah, hitting you with these mad combos. I can't help but feel like this is absolutely That's the perfect. thing about Diddy Kong. Yeah, he's so annoying, but at the same time, he's so freaking powerful. He could hit you with all those combos. Like, that, that's Shu all over. He's so technically proficient. His <laughs> APM is so high. Let's freaking go. This is perfect. Shu's APM being high, like, that's even more of an argument. Yes, he has to be Diddy Kong. There's no other option. <laughs> Yeah. This would be a great character for him to play. He <laughs> loves the rushdowns. <laughs> All right. Ike. I love that that came from Banana. Ike. Oh. So, we, Ike as a character is nothing like Ike, but he is called Ike. 
I feel like that's pretty damn funny. It's pretty funny because Ike in real life would never show up to a fight with a gigantic greatsword, but his name is Unless. Ike and he does fight for his friends. <laughs> he does fight for his friends. I fight for my and friends. I like that. Yeah, I like that. We can get- It just kind of messes around with He's everyone. also got this skin with like the blue clothing as well. That actually looks very fitting for Ike, yeah. I think the only person I could even argue away from that might be Shulk. And yeah, I still think that doesn't fit Ike either. I, I feel like Shulk is too British to be Ike. <laughs> True. <laughs> I can never in my life imagine Shu saying, imagine Shu, I imagine Ike going, I've got a good rhythm going. And now I know who's going for Mr. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, actually, that makes actually, sense. No. So, okay, let's agree that Ike is Ike. Um, yeah. Just for the fun of just it. For the, just, 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 just for the funniness also, of it Also, because if he starts winning and we hear the crowd go, we like Ike, it's just going to be like, yes. Yeah, that's funny. We can't go. really go without that. Okay. So now that you've mentioned Shulk being Mr. because he's British, I think that's a hilarious idea. My idea for Mr. was the Pikachu Fox. because he's a detective. Oh. <gasps> Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu. Oh, we can even, and he's God, got the little orange the cap as well. I was just going to say Fox because he's a fox, but oh, Detective Pikachu is so good. I think, I think, he's super like, energetic. He's mm -hmm. adorable. Okay, I like Pikachu. Detective Rius. I think this, I think this is the, I think this is the pick. I think this is the pick for, um, for, That is actually for way Mr. better than anything I could come up with. Yeah. It was either that or is there anyone else in this game who's actually like a detective in their home game? I don't think so. I guess you could technically. No, I'm not a solid snake, really. He just gets intel. Yeah. All right. Oh. Let's let's go Pikachu. I think that's super cute. Yeah. And now it's my turn. Guys, I know you're going to be upset about this. <laughs> I want to hear your argument. <laughs> you're going to be upset about this. There is only one character that can be me. And it's Kazuya, Kazuya Mishima. <laughs> he is a demon in a white no, suit. Is, yeah, I, I am a demon in a white suit and he's my main. I'm not, it's not just because he's my main. It just works. I think the only argument people can make would be Donkey Kong because of, yeah. Because I'm a monkey. monkey. Energy. But I think, yeah, Kazuya actually fits you. True law, true look. True to the everything. law, the looks, the skills. Scars, the damage, the the, the like magic, your fighting style. If you don't have a sword, you just have to beat people to death. So yeah, do you? Because of your works, I think it works. <laughs> but also, one thing I'm thinking, and I'll ask you about this, right? Um, we all know that Kazuya level nine CPU is kind of busted. So I'll say that if I pick Kazuya, I will knock my CPU devil level down to eight. Oh, so kind of a bit I of. You will out pretty quickly if you knock it down the level eight. Maybe. I mean, maybe like the jump from eight to nine is really big, but also like we've seen the videos of actual pro players getting bodied by level nine CPU Kazuya. Yeah, because they can just do the zero to 70% combo in one go. Yeah, okay, I think, yeah, level eight, level eight would be good. Unless you just want to go Donkey Kong. Chat are, yeah, Kong. Chat are begging me to go Donkey Kong. Chat are begging me to go Donkey Kong. Oh yeah, look at the emotes. The amount of, <laughs> the amount of Aku Monkey in chat, Mimunka. Oh, people are saying that Kazuya level nine got- um, Oh, they got, oh, they patched it. They patched it, yeah. But yeah, the amount of people that are just saying, let's go Kazuya, I think, I think, yeah. I mean, let's go Donkey Kong. I, I think you have to give the people what you they gotta, want. You gotta, I have always said it. I'm a man of the people. Vox Akuma <laughs> is in his white suit, his white coat. Vox Akuma is Donkey Kong. Let's go. Oh, that felt like a whole character arc. I love it. <laughs> I went in, I went in with my argument ready. I had my papers, I slammed them down. I said, this is this, this is that. And then the chat said they wanted monkey and who am I to tell them no? Exactly, just accept it. Good All right. times anyway. Noctix. Noctix. Beginning with, of course, the first to debut in Noctix, which was Sunny Brisco Dayo. Oh, only one real choice. I, I love him as Solid Snake. With I saw the other people uh, arguing earlier, Terry Bogard. And I I get that. I could even go for Ken, but I feel like Sonny needs to have this gun. Come on. It's one thing. Have you ever seen him play an FPS game? He goes in hard. He sprays. If you give him one of those games where you can run around and shoot up close to them, he's going to get you. He needs a gun. Also, his whole thing is VS Evida. They all like it all. He's Solid Snake. He's Solid Snake. I love it. Let's go. Solid Snake. 
Let's go I do see Snake. chat arguing for Steve, which is pretty hilarious with how much time he spends in Minecraft. But that, I still think that, that is honest. true. And also, look at this skin. <laughs> is there a skin? There is a there is a blonde. Is the tennis player oh skin the blonde God. skin? Are we really gonna make Sunny Briscoe fucking Steve Minecraft? Can, can we can we can we do a poll? I think either I'll one do a poll. All right, mate. I'll do a poll. Let's have a look at this then. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. I think if that's on. the case, then we also have to go back and ask if they want to turn Pomu into Snake then. Because that frees up Snake. That was we my can main always reason. Go. Okay, 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 okay. I Let's... like this. Yeah, let, let the people decide. I'm loving this. Who is Sunny Briscoe? I've never seen anyone use that. Steve so he's either or Snake. Steve. So Snake fits <laughs> like in more of a character. Fits to his story design and character more but steve fits who he really is as a person oh keep in mind steve is also incredibly strong he's the only person he's the only one of the builders left in the minecraft world he carries like i, I forget the calculations but matt pad said he carries like equivalent to what would be able to collapse like a small stage or something yeah like, he's but stronger than link by the amount of sheer material that he carries around with him so here's the thing i've i've looked it up how strong is steve on the fandom wiki for a total oh, of 2,304 go. enchanted golden apples, each one re weighing 154,400 kilograms, Steve can, oh hold a a th can hold a third of a billion kilograms while still being able to walk, sprint, and even jump. Steve is kind of OP. <laughs> and, and Steve is winning the vote as well. I mean, Steve is okay, like shaking up the it. meta in, in Smash anyway, so I feel like this kind yeah. of fits. All right. It's funny. And I love the idea that he's just going to be able to... Enemies are going to be trying to attack him, and he's just going to build things to keep away from them, mine some shit, come back and murder them. That's Sunny all over. Especially when you meet Sunny in Minecraft, and he's just superhuman. My man flew down, killed a zombie, flew away. He's just like Batman. It's great. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. I love that. Sunny Briscoe is Steve. Steve. And for that logic, chat, should we change Rosalina for Pomo, yeah, I can already see snake. people saying solid Pomo, solid Pomo, solid, solid Pomo. Think, it, it, it's, it's tradition Pomu at this point. We can't, that. yeah, we can't let solid Pomo go without. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad we did that. Give the people what they want. I feel. <laughs> I feel a sense of weight has been lifted. I feel like we've really restored balance to right the universe in a way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so good. All right, that's good. Okay, okay. Next up to debut was Uki, and for me. I think it's pretty simple. It's me too. He is a psychic type. And yeah. he's a psychic. I, I saw a lot of people when we were giving away Jigglypuff, uh, I mean Kirby, saying, but Uki is Kirby, Uki is Kirby. And I get that. It's one of his favorite games and it's his main. But at the same time, if you think, everybody always argues, and Uki argues this as well when it comes to the lore, that he is the super song psychic who can fly around, explode things. He has the power of the star. Give him Mewtwo. Make him super powerful. Give him his psychic power. Let's see Uki fuck shit up this time. I want to yes. see Yes! And it's just, it's just reminding me of the tier list stream when Uki and Shu were talking and I was putting, I was like, putting Uki down a few tiers. I was like, whatever. And he's like, he's like, you don't know all the power the star has given me. And then Shu just went cap. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> and I think so angry, something yeah. about Mewtwo fighting Diddy Kong in that way is fucking fantastic. Like Mewtwo being like, you do not know the power of the star. And then Diddy Kong says cap. <laughs> <laughs> Literally twirls the cap in the air. Oh my god. He has a cap, that's right! Oh my god! <laughs> I think the only other one we could possibly argue would be Ness, because Ness is another incredibly strong psychic. With that's the PK true. fire, the PK thunder, and just his freaking mm. ultimate smash. That's so ooky. Like, PK summoning PK down energy storm. through the sky. Oh. Oh my god, should Uki be Ness? Should Uki be Ness? <laughs> I, I kind of... I kind of like it more than Mewtwo. It's still a psychic, but it's more, it's more floaty. It's got more of like an energy to it where it comes from the star. I, I like Ness. What do you guys think, Chad? What do you guys think, um, Ness? Spam. We won't do a, th yeah, we just won't spa do a poll. Spam, just spam, spam. Ness, Ness has a purple ult. He, oh my God, he does, doesn't does he? he? He's got, uh, he's got that, yeah. That's even Uki's colors. Oh, he's colors. got two. Oh, wait, try the purple and black one. The one, one right. Oh, I think either of those suit him, but yeah, I think the other one, like the white and purple stripes. Yeah, I think Ness. I think we got to go with Ness for Uki. That's yeah, that's so good. Listen, I would have never I'm seeing a lot of. We actually, it's like, divisive. The chat is divided. It. I think we have they to do. A, I think we have to do a poll. A lot of people okay, are saying Ness poll. looks better. Some people are saying Mewtwo looks better. 
who I, is Uki. I who, thought Mewtwo at first, and then I started talking about Ness being like a super strong psychic, and then I remembered, yeah, his ult is just like so Uki, cooling down power from the heavens. The being able to like draw energy in when people attack him, that's so like him just snidely responding to comments, giving the best like, fuck you bitch returns. <laughs> oh man. That's so freaking ooky. Oh my I'm, god. I'm it, voting for Ness, but yeah. I'll fair enough, fair speak. enough. I will I, I I can't vote myself. I'm just watching it happen, but Ness appears oh, to be so close. It's so even, isn't it? Yeah. It's even more even now. Chat keep no chat, don't keep it 50-50. <laughs> Help just us like, choose. Balance. <laughs> oh. Somebody did just say one thing. Oh yeah? Um, somebody said, why don't you make Uki Mewtwo? Because that way you can save Ness for the star power for Asta. Okay, yeah, let's... That's pretty perfect because, I mean, Asta so said he close. can summon black holes. He can call down stars. I mean, what else does Ness do but call that? He's a star boy. He's a star kid and Asta is a star. So, yeah. The only uh, other person I could think for Asta would be Politana anyway. So, yeah, I like this. I like Mewtwo for Uki. Let's, yeah, because I think Uki Please. would like this because Mewtwo's super powerful in Pokemon lore. He's, like, flying around, blowing shit up. He's, like, <laughs> one of the most powerful po Pokemon there is. I think it works. I just, I just, I, I know I'm countering myself again and again and again, but I suddenly thought, how funny would it be if we had Uki is Ness and Lucas is Asta? <laughs> <laughs> Since their laws are so similar with like the star coming down, <laughs> being a star. God damn it. But yeah, no, no, I like you too. You too. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's it also because Lucas and Ness are so similar. It's good to have like some different characters some like fucking around. Yeah. yeah. I forget how many characters there are in Smash nowadays. It's nuts, isn't it? Uh, it's like 80 yeah. something different characters. Yeah, we still haven't used so many of them. All right. After Uki, it was, I believe, Albin. Yes. I think Alvin's pretty, pretty obvious. The, I, I think there's two choices. The main one, the obvious one would be Joker, the Phantom Thief, yeah. not even a question. You can give him like the white jacket so he has the brown hair. It feels very Alvin. I like that. Or maybe a schoolboy outfit. Maybe one of the schoolboy outfits would fit him. Cause there's not really an orange kind of shade to that one. To be fair though, like that is just Alvin's oh, hair. That is just outfit. purely Alvin's hair. That is purely, yeah. Yeah, you just add the cat is, that's Alvin with a mask on. He's just changed his clothes. The only other one would I argue would be Incineroar just for the energy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Joker is just so spot on. There's no point in even thinking about it. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot in any universe imagine imagine Albin embodying the level of the level of testosterone coursing through Incineroar at every given moment. Just the fucking oh. size of that man's breasts. I, I, I can't imagine Al Albin is not the kind of guy who I envision to hit a guy with a full body slam and go you know? I have seen Albin go wild perhaps I'm wrong perhaps I haven't spent he's, enough time with Albin boy, but he has his panther moments but yeah I think Joker is just too perfect to pass up especially yeah you were right the hair is 100% spot on I was like, I know the color matches, but I forgot, yeah, the fluffiness is spot on. <laughs> the Chad and Cinero oh, versus the Virgin Joker. Oh! <laughs> Chad suddenly said Sora, and I see it. Oh the my energy, god, I see it too! The positivity, even the voice. Hey, yeah, here we go. Alvin. I believe in the power of my friends. Oh, this might have to be a poll again. Oh my god, he's got the Sigma stare as well. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's Albert all over. <laughs> oh, chat, let's see if you'll make this easy for us. Joker or Sora? Sora has more the energy of Albin. Joker definitely has the look and the Phantom Thief connection. Oh, Joker feels so perfect. But then someone in chat said Sora, and I was just like, yo, the energy though. Yeah, Sora. here we go. Then again, I mean, Joker's pretty energetic as well. He's like, um, oh, yeah, he's got incredibly skewed towards Joker. Yeah, let's go, let's let's go yeah. for Joker for Alvin. I mean, it's a Phantom Thief. That's his hair. I don't think there's any other way of there's any other way of making yeah. it happen. I like with the way you were thinking, though, chat. Whoever said Sora, I feel it. <laughs> uh, we we salute you. You're not wrong. It's not wrong. It's just different. We appreciate it. Yeah. All right, and after Alvin, it was you. It was me. Okay. It, I'm gonna say my thing, and you can say whether you agree with this. Okay. I think Mega Man. I think he's not really a cyborg. He's actually an android. He's a robot. But at the same time, 
his moveset, other than having a gun, just being able to use his arms as like blades and things, being able to summon a dog to bounce off of is really cute in my opinion. <laughs> being able to throw things, like having any, having a scenario, uh, having a weapon for every scenario feels very me. Chat is saying Rob. I was thinking Rob as well. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> see, now when I never would have thought Mega Man, but now that you've said it, it really, really works. Like it, I think it fits you so perfectly with all those, all of that different utility. But then turning you into like a, into, into a tiny toy with a gyroscopic body, and he's, he's even got the little it's red arms. Hilarious. It's really funny. So I don't know. Let's. I'm. I'm Is willing to like do a, a poll because I love you as. Room? I love you as Mega Man. I think that's such a creative idea. So hold on. Um, who is? I saw people arguing for Samus as well, and I was like, mm, maybe nah, Samus. That's more, that's more a super suit than like an android kind of connection. That is true, but then, then you know, I feel like Samus personality-wise, you know, kind of closed off, sort of like hunting targets in the dark and the streets. Uh, yeah, and that kind bouncy of thing. hunter. Yeah, very similar. Maybe even Dark Samus. Wrong. Sephiroth Ogre? No, <laughs> Sephiroth no. Legardis, maybe. I don't have a sword for one thing. He does have your hair. He does have, like, a, your hair, but, like, progress. If you went Super hair, Saiyan, you would have yeah, Sephiroth's yeah. hair. <laughs> yeah, if I went to Super Saiyan 4, boom, Sephiroth hair. <laughs> yeah, right, like, um, between Mega Man and Rob, I would go for either. Either um, works. I am asking the people. The people are here to let us know. Okay. It's up to you, kin sheep. Decide my fate. Robin looks like Folga. Uh, it's just the white hair, really. Yeah, plus Folga's not a wizard. He can't cast fireballs or use Nosferatu. Yeah, that attack, the, the attack system doesn't make sense at all. Mega Man is winning. Oh, crap. I was surprised because people went real hard for Rob when when we were first discussing it. Now people are going real hard for Mega Man. Mm. Okay. Also, like, think about it, right? The uh, Mega Man's up B... It's a dog, but you can just imagine it being one of the one of the comfy dance, like bouncing you off of their sheep wool. You know, <laughs> that's so me. They, they just appear oh, to get. They just appear like, go, Folger, like... give you a boost. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's go for Mega Man for you. I think that's really perfect, and he's got the little red arms as well. I think that's so perfect for you. Yeah, red arms, red legs. Yeah, and the red throat, perfect. Everything. All right. Okay, final one. Yeah, you go. You go. Who is a DJ? Who makes music in this game? Jigglypuff. I feel Fuck. like... I feel like Yugo's energy kind of leads itself to, like, Bowser Jr.? <laughs> Bowser Jr.? But then also, like, Lucario. Oh, chat is saying Sonic, and my god. Oh, Stay that's right. perfect. Say so right. That He's, he's the blue blur. He... Listen, I feel like they have similar taste in music, you know? Live and learn! Hanging yeah. on the edge! And the, I, I feel like if Sonic could bring a giant DJ turntable around and blast tunes while running around... Yeah, yeah, you go... Yeah, I you, both, like, I could imagine any line that Sonic said, I could imagine Hugo saying it, honestly. But also, the, the, now that you've said Bowser Jr., I just can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> We've even got a little... Right. Larry! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Larry. <laughs> or oh, Ludwig. Nah, Ludwig Ludwig is too like full of himself. You like Larry looks like the chill Bowser uh, the chill oh, Koopa Ludwig Lager. is named after Beethoven. Oh a musician! Oh my god That's clever. Oh. That's really that's like some fucking gigabrain shit. That's really advanced. Oh Ike just dropped into chat and said Sonic was the DJ in an ad for the Dreamcast as well. See, okay, I, I see oh, that. Oh, yeah, in Sonic Underground, didn't he play, like, a guitar and sing? It's got to be. He's a musician in something. It's got to be. I, now that I've heard that, like, it's got to be Sonic. Like, I, I think Thank Bowser you, Jr. I... Bowser Jr. was a really funny concept, but, yeah. I Yeah, I feel, like, it's the same thing as, like, Joker versus Incineroar. Oh, no, 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 Joker versus Sora. It's, like, the energy versus someone who just fits them too perfectly. Sonic is great. I guess the only the only argument for Bowser Jr. is that I can imagine he would install like a DJ turntable or something inside his little clown car, and so he's just driving around blasting tunes. But then yeah. I, that's I don't you we don't know anything like about iPad kid. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, that kind of fits Hugo. But at the same time, I think Sonic is the ultimate iPad kid. He's the ultimate zoomer in that he runs very fast. Literally zooms. Yeah, is never ready for anything. Just wants to keep running. 
Gotta go fast. Gotta yeah, go like fast. <laughs> All right. Who is the last I say, wave? I do like one person in chat did say um, inkling for you go. And I kind of get that too. Because they're very musically inclined Their as well. final They've smash is literally, energy. it's a giant speaker. Look, we got it's the blue skin as well. Blue boy skin. Oh, <gasps> yo. Oh, that looks so much like Yugo when he has his hair up. Like in his new outfit with the uh, suit. Oh my jeez. I actually prefer the other one, the darker blue one. Yeah. I think that one suits him so much. It's got, it's, we, we gotta make it. Who's like a water gun gun? I mean, I know it's an ink gun, but I could see Yugo just carrying around a water gun for the fun of it. <laughs> winny, winny. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. I think that okay, might a lot be. of people are begging oh. us to keep him with Sonic. I'm going to do another poll. Like, I didn't think it would be this divisive, but these picks are all so interesting. Okay. I didn't even think of Inkling until I saw one person say it in chat, and I was like, oh my god. Because I love, like, I think everybody loves the, um, the music from Splatoon as well. It's, like, so iconic. Yeah. Yeah, Sonic fits him so perfectly in so many ways. There's just a few things about Inkling that make you go, oh, that is Yugo. <laughs> oh, yes. it's not even close. Sonic, yeah, Sonic, Sonic is destroying this vote. All right, fair enough, guys. We'll we'll leave him with Sonic. He's he's still Sonic. I didn't. Uh, I was just mousing over Inkling, but yes, let's that's keep. All good. Let's leave it with Sonic. I think that's a fair vote. All right. Next up is Iluna. Iluna. Who debuted first in Iluna? Hmm. So who debuted? It was uh, Maria debuted first in, uh, in, ah, in yeah. Iluna. Hmm. Adorable little doll. I mean, Zelda has this skin and also summons a big armor puppet, which might well, in a certain sense, be classified as a doll. It is basically a doll, yeah. Hmm. I feel like hmm, Zelda's other things, it's just too much magic, though. Yeah, I mean, she is enchanted, but not to the point where she can sort of shoot fireballs and summon giant bouts of fire and do little kicky moves. We did we did we no no we gave Pomu Rose uh, we gave Pomu Solid Snake instead of Rosalina. We did, yeah. I feel like there's an argument for Rosalina because not only does she have the kind of feel of Maria, she also has the little star thing, which you could argue is basically being a doll beside her as well. That she uses to fight mm. alongside her. Oh, people saying Wolf for the eye patch. And Wolf oh, has a pink skin. <laughs> That's so good. I think it's oh so funny because Maria is like the sweetest, quietest, like, hello, oh, I was so nervous to talk to my senpai the other day and all that kind of stuff. And then Wolf is oh, like, you're so good, sweet. but I'm better. And it's just fucking like, Rawr. I don't know why that like that. It the, leans into what I expected when I like saw her pre-debut, just being like, oh, she's going to be the Chunibyo. She's got to rock up with like the evil laugh. She's got to be talking about her power level all the time. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm kind of... Some people are saying Pichu. Pichu has, like, the actual energy of Maria. I could also argue for maybe, like, Villager. The... Oh, that... Oh, vi... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There's also... Where, where's Villager? Some of Maria's favorite games... Like, I've actually talked to Maria quite a bit off stream. A, a lot of her favorite games end up being, like, the farming simulators like... Um... What's this called? island one crap <laughs> that game anyway um she's playing one of them she's playing story of seasons too these two tend to be oh my god there's the pink head variant um but yeah these like that suits her so much she she's loves also these got... types of games she's got that type of energy she is a doll and the villager looks like a doll oh i can't Marie fucking Dina. believe that for maria marionette we have the vote between wolf and village <laughs> Because <laughs> Ike did like drop into chat. <laughs> Ike did drop into chat and comment that Wolf has a gun and Maria is cracked at FPS. So she is cracked. She kicks my ass at Valorant. Who? Yeah. Okay, who is Maria? Villager? Or I? I just think you I do it a poll. Listen, I think Villager fits more, but Maria being Wolf is the most hilarious, hilarious shit in the world to me. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I'm not angry whichever way it goes. Even if people had said like Pichu, I would have been like, all three of those fit Maria in different ways. The wolf is away. <laughs> I love it. I love this chat. This is so freaking funny. <laughs> I love how your argument at the beginning was just wolf because eye patch. And I, <laughs> that just killed me immediately. <laughs> and then you connected with the Chunibyo thing. 
the fact that yeah like ike said cracked at fps he's got like the backup gone and he's got the pink jacket oh my yeah okay it's it, gotta it be it's be. gotta be wolf guys i think it's just too funny to let go of all right maria marionette is wolf the main thing i enjoy i can't wait to see the fan art i cannot wait to see the fan art <laughs> 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 oh, let's go. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Kyo. <gasps> Ness! Kyo. Wait, Ooh. Ness is going to be Asta, but like Ness Lucas. is like a hyperactive kid, and he's also, he's got like, he's, you know, I feel like hey, Ness. See, and... I was going to say, I was going to say Kyo Sonic until we gave that to Yugo. That is um, true, actually. Hmm. I could almost say Kyo Inkling. It's another kind of Zuma character. Oh, that is true, actually. Yeah. And then we can give him like the. Yeah, look at this! I mean, Kyo is so much more than just the Zuma. Like, everybody jokes about the Zuma thing, but... Mm. He's also a savage. He's also incredibly savage. Sephiroth. <laughs> I don't think that's... No, I don't, th I don't think he's that savage. <laughs> I would almost... He's incredible, incredibly cracked at Pokemon, too. Pokemon trainer? Yeah, I could almost see him as He Pokemon loves Pokemon. Trainer. I mean, also, just look he at... He can actually, like, just, crush Nuzlocke, which is pretty impressive. That takes a lot of, but like, also, Pokemon knowledge. Just look at Pokemon Trainer. It's like it's like a kid who's like, here we go, you know? Like, he's not a savage, yeah. but he loves Pokemon, so... Now, nah, there's no... Sora's too happy to be Kyo. I'm not saying Kyo is That's sad, <laughs> but, but, but Sora's too nice to people to be Kyo. <laughs> Sora's too innocent. Kyo has been through some shit. Kyo knows what's going on in the world. Kyo messes people up when they come his way. <laughs> I like the idea of Pokemon Trainer. Mm. What about Falco? Falco? Yo, Falco is the most talkative character in the game. Like, the only one more, salvage, more savage than Falco is Wolf, and we've already given away Wolf. I, Falco, are so, we going to put like, all of the... Are we going to put yeah, all of the, the spaces in Aluna? Because <laughs> they are from space. Oh, they literally, the whole thing is coming from, yeah, the Moon Academy. See, here's the oh thing, my here's my argument for Falco, right? Falco is, like, super snarky, and he's like, sorry, got a jet. And he's also got that, like, he's got that, like, bright blue hair and everything. So I feel like maybe Kyo for Falco? Falco? Oh, I like that. See, people saying Lucario, but Lucario is way too serious. Lucario is like... Yeah, yeah Lucario right. doesn't joke around. Plus, I, I don't see why people are saying Lucario. There's not really much that connects that to Kyo, in my opinion. He's, he's oh, Luc Toon Link? Yo. Can we give... We can't give him, like, the blue hair, but we can give him sort of, like, a blue outfit. That is, that would be, I mean, have you seen how fast Toon Link runs with his little legs? Like, like the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Yeah, and like his winning screen where he just sw swipes his sword around a lot, or when he tries to chase around the pig. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, I've got another argument for Inkling that I just saw in chat. Oh? It's like, Kyo's whole aesthetic is the whole spray paint thing, which is very Splatoon in, oh, in the same is. way. Oh, yeah, the light blue hair. That's, that's actually Kyo. Holy yeah, shit. let's, let's go Inkling for Kyo, I think. I could see him wearing that outfit too. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it was always between Pokemon Trainer and something else. Yeah, and Inkling. Inkling's good. Let's go Inkling for Kyo. And next it's after that... It's a shame there isn't, like, a Pokemon Trainer that actually looks like him. Yeah, they've all got kind yeah, of, like, Inkling a, a is roughly perfect. similar look. I love that. All right, all right, all right, all right. And next Inkling up. can actually be savage as well. Inkling isn't just Azuma. Actually, yeah, Inkling's energy fits him a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's good, that's good. Okay. Aya Amare. Aya Amare. I that energy does kind of remind me of Daisy. I could also go Zelda, actually, with Aya. Yeah, the thing about Daisy is you can't really... Also, the thing is, Palutena is an angelic maiden as well. Oh, she, and she is, is quite literally she's very angelic maiden. She's very sarky, isn't she, Palutena? She's very, she's very like, too bad for you, which is very Aya as well. Like, she's a bully. Palutena's a bit of a bully, you know. And you could tell Palutena would be into BL. Like, I just, I have that feeling. I look at her and I know what she's up to. Yeah, I think Politator fits perfectly. Let's go through the colors. It's, it's just a question of colors at this point. There's a question. We've got the oh, white, the, the, the white uh, dress for Palutena works. Also, Chad is saying Sephiroth. Sephiroth? Oh. 
I don't know why I can kind of see it. <laughs> I know, right? You said it and I was like, what? And then I saw the face and I was like, you know? <laughs> he's he's a massive twat who's like, good to see you, Cloud. And is like, his whole life's purpose is to fuck with Cloud. He's an angel and he's yeah. got that, like, he's got that face. He's got that hair. I mean... What, like did I, what did Ike just say? Uh, Ike is in chat. What did he just say? What did he say? Palutena would absolutely read BL. No, he's right. Thank you, Ike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. <laughs> just imagine you're watching your childhood village be burned down and then you see Aya Mari walking through the flames. Bum, 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 bum. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I like this because it's, it's just crazy enough to work. Palutena is like a perfect fit. And then you've got Sephiroth and it's like, that's so stupid and so good. <laughs> I also think Sephiroth's sword is just about ridiculous enough to work. Like, um, like Aya would be like, "Yes, I am yeah, going. I'm whole... going to bring his his sword to the fight because you know." And her whole debut was like being a menace, beating the crap out of people with a baseball bat. So yeah, if she found an eight foot long sword, she would totally rock that. I like it. I like it. Let's go, it Aya. Vote, or do you want to just go? I think <laughs> Aya Amari is Sephiroth. I can't see it any other way now. I think that's hilarious. Oh my god, the fan art's going to be incredible. <laughs> and I think Aya somewhere is sitting there right now thinking, Yes. 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 <laughs> now just give me a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, man. Next up, we've got Asta. And I think we kind of agreed in advance that he would be Ness or Lucas. Ness or Lucas? I Ike had something. Let me let me load up Ike's comment. Ike said people are also saying Rosalina with the star power. Yeah, Ike Ike earlier said my vote for Aster is Ro Rosalina remains. I, I can see that. A lot of chat is voting for Rosalina. I like Rosalina. I think that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. He's got oh, literally I, I, the star. No. All of his things have to do with star. The up B recovery. Everything. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just thinking about. I think his vibe fits the sound of the loom. Just like beep, 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 beep. I just think that works too well for him. <laughs> I think yeah, that's just so spot on. I love All right. it. All right, that's perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Last up, we have the third years from Eluna. Scala Yonagumi. Who is she gonna be? Scala Pyra. Oh, Pyra Mithra. That kind of that suits her dichotomy as well. Because she can be like, she has her moments of acting like mommy. And then she has her moments of just being more chill, more down to earth, more geeky girl next door. Like very, I like, like that. yeah, yeah. That could work. And there's also Robin, because she's an enchantress and so is Scala. But I feel as though, when I look at Scala, I don't see a tactician. <laughs> no. Not so much. Mm. Someone just said fucking Incineroar. Why? Why Incineroar for Scala? <laughs> Maybe just the fiery thing? <laughs> Same colors, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I, I don't really guess. see that. Mm. Like, there's a lot of ones where it's like, I see where it's coming from, but I don't quite feel it. But I, yeah, um, it's, it's got to feel right. I think Pyromethra is a really good choice. Either that or like... Zero suit Samus. Zero suits I can kind of see, yeah. And she's got it. She's got the red alt skin there. If she just has the same kind of energy. Like I love the fact that one of the things about Zero suit Samus is yes, she is banging as shit, but she never uses that. She's just like, nah, I'm just chill. I'm here to murder shit. <laughs> Scarlet shows up and she's just like, I'm here to play games. I'm here to do my magic. I'm here to make potions. <laughs> she does not give a fuck. A lot of people are saying Bayonetta, but we already gave Bayonetta to Nina because Nina, because it had like the right colors for Nina. I and... feel like Bayonetta is just so fitting for Nina. It would yeah, be I agree. Go anywhere else. Uh, mm, we fit trainer. We mm. fit trainer. Oh. Nah, not Lucina. Nah. I don't really see Scala as we fit trainer either. No. If if any of them, I would have seen like Aya as we fit trainer. Aya can plank for years. It's crazy. Yeah, but Works of course, out, like every day. There's no way that I'm changing her off of Sephiroth. No, no, no. So Sephiroth is to it too now. perfect. For I'm Aya. so attached to it now. <laughs> try, try Byleth. Try female Byleth. Oh, but, but, but that that works. Byleth in the red outfit. That works because you know what? Byleth's got like those um, 
Like, female Byleth also has, like, a kind of a similar outfit. And Byleth is a teacher, mm. and Eluna is the oh, school is the school right, wave. by the way. Oh, wait, shit, yeah, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, Scala oh, that's has perfect. that kind of energy as a teacher. I feel like that suits. I'd like... I could totally see Scala wearing those leggings. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. All right, I think I'm, I think I think okay. So I'd say that the the, the choice like is between that. Byleth and Pyra. I think let's um, let's ask. Yeah. Who? Yeah, let's ask chat. Is Scarlet? Is uh, is she Byleth or is she Pyra? I'm very interested to see what way they're going to go because that's the problem. If Pyra Mithra had characters that were a bit more like on that kind of wave of Scala, one being a bit more sultry and one being a bit more innocent, but it's not. It's more like. Sundere and <laughs> oh, Byleth winning the know, vote pretty convincingly. Friend. Yeah, there we go. I thought so. Byleth, Byleth just makes sense. As soon as I remembered she had a red outfit, I was like, "Can we try Byleth?" And he was like, "Yeah, no, that just makes sense." Yeah, that it, it it just works. It just works. Okay, and last of all, <laughs> last of all, we have Ren Renjamin Zotum, the curious case of Renjamin Zotum. Renjamin Zotum. Now, I, I kind of like Dark Samus. <laughs> now, now Dark or Samus Olimar. fits the aesthetic. <laughs> I was thinking Olimar. <laughs> We've got the blue hair. He's an alien. Oh, the face tells it. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo. I feel like he's... I feel like Yoshi chat is saying. Yoshi? He does have the energy of Yoshi. Holy crap. He's a dinosaur. And he can do the voice really well. He also does an incredible Goofy. I was surprised. His Goofy is exactly Goofy like super Goofy. good, yeah. Yeah. Justice for Ren. What do you guys want? What do you like, guys do mean? We, we have an alien here and we have a dinosaur. We're giving him exactly what he wants. He loves dinosaurs too. Wow. Chat knows Ren so well. <laughs> I can't believe. Can't believe that like the super Ikemen character from um from Eluna is being represented by fucking Yoshi. <laughs> That's the thing. If you wanted to give him by looks, it would probably be Crom. <laughs> That's true, but then I don't know. Crom's Crom's too much of a meathead to be Ren, I think. That's what I mean. Yeah. I like Olimar for the jokes, and I like Yoshi because they're right. The energy is spot on. I, I think we go Yoshi for him. We'll just give him like the blue look. That works for me. All right. I think I with think everyone in everyone in mind, too. this is our pick for everyone from Ninja En as a Smash character. So. Illyra Pandora is Corrin. Finana. Oh, can you make... Hmm? Sorry, keep going. I'll get to it when we get to okay. it. Finana is Greninja. Pomu is Solid Snake. Rosami is Piranha Plant. Petra is King DDD. <laughs> Selen is Ridley. <laughs> Nina is Bayonetta. Enna oh, is yeah. Jigglypuff. <laughs> Millie is Isabel. Remu is Kirby. <laughs> Luca is Terry. Shu is Diddy Kong. I kind of feel, I feel like Shu's gonna go so far in this tournament. Honestly, I think Shu might win. He's gonna hit us with some meaty combos. Ike he was chosen by God. Ike is Ike. I love that. Mister is Pikachu. Vox Akuma is Donkey Kong. <laughs> Sonny Briscoe is Minecraft Steve. Uki is Mewtwo. Ow. Minecraft Steve still makes me laugh. <laughs> Minecraft Steven. <laughs> and Joker is Alban. Folger is Mega Man. Hell oh, yeah. Hugo is Sonic. Nice. Maria is Wolf. I love that one. <laughs> oh, man. Kyo is Inkling. Nice. Aya Amare is Sephiroth. <laughs> it's these ones that get me so much. Oh, yeah. Asta is Rosalina and Luma. Mm. Byleth. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Can you make that one purple? I think there's a purple ult for Rosalina. Hold the phone. I'm not sure if there is. There's a pink one. Is it more pink? Oh, there is purple. Yeah, there you go. Rosalina and Luma. Right. Nice. Yeah, that's Asta. Asta is... Rosalina. Scala is Byleth. And Renzotto, alien conqueror of worlds, is fucking Yobby. I don't know why they're arguing it, but everybody's saying he should be green Yoshi. 
Chat, tell us why he's green, Yoshi. Why is he green, we Yoshi? Because Ren is not it's a... none of his colors. None of his colors are green. Why is he green? Yeah, he's got the color of, like, a galaxy. Is it just because he likes green, Yoshi? Does he just really like Yoshi when he's green? Yeah, green. His color is green. He has a green dinosaur. All right, that's good enough for me. Man's got a green dinosaur. Oh, <laughs> I clearly haven't been watching enough Ren videos. I've never <laughs> seen the green dinosaur. We got to check out the green stuff. dinosaur. All right. Oh, all right. that's his hex code. Oh, I just assumed his hex code okay. would be the shades in his hair because they're so beautiful. Yeah. We finally have a green Nijian member. We do. Let's go. Let's go. All right. There we go. Folga Ovid, are you ready <laughs> to begin? So I'm thinking, let's do this full fucking MMA style. Use your GoXLR, go. blast sound effects for me, just go ham. We're going to announce this, and this is going to be the tournament to end all tournaments. Who? I in corrected myself, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I said first green Niji Yen. I just meant first green Niji Yen boy. Because for so long, the only Niji Yen boy in green we had was just throwing Oliver in from JP. So we were just like, so he's the green one. <laughs> I corrected myself like immediately. Chill. Chill. It's okay, guys. It's okay. All right. This will be the tournament to end all tournaments. Who of Niji Yen will win? Here we go. Let's go. All right. Are you ready to rumble? It's time, 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 time for the ultimate battle. Niji, Sanji, Ian go head to head in the Thunderdome. Wow. <laughs> A springy sound effect added All right. To it. Let me just quickly check the rules. Uh, so, ah, oh yeah. So we got three stock. Final. Should we turn final smashes on or keep it like super? I, I want them on. I think this needs to be ultimate chaos. All right, can I? Wait a minute, can I? Can I edit this? Hold on. It's definitely going to make it more unfair. There are some characters who have just incredibly strong ultimate. Smashes. It's a good thing we didn't put Zelda. Oh, we're for not anyone. here for fair. Yeah, I, yeah, Zelda's I also, one is just I also don't think I can edit these rules now. It's not letting me. Oh. I already picked the rules. Oh, right. You choose the rules. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. That's fine. Now we already have the characters. I could really quickly dip out, repick everyone after changing the rules to something more fun. Do you have items on? If you have items on, that's like a fine balancer instead because they still have smash. I board. don't have items on. It's a pretty standard rule set. Ah, uh, you had this. I like, didn't know I wasn't mode. able to change it after we get in. I, I think we should have smash meter because then we'll see a lot of smashes. Okay, 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 guys. Are you willing to give me like five minutes to quickly hop out? I will. Re I remember all the picks. We can repick everyone, and then we'll get back in with stuff that's really fun. Yeah, this won't take long. All right, nice. Okay, it'll Let's, be worth it. It'll be quickly worth hop it out, guys. Long. We're gonna be we're gonna be really really quick, and then we're gonna get this all sorted out. Okay. Who knows? And in the meantime, I want to see in chat who do you think's gonna win the whole tournament? Who do you think's gonna take it? Everybody, you cast, cast your vote. Uh, cast your votes. Make your bet. Right, Final Smash Me are on. Spirits off. Uh, stage selection. Oh, let's do. Um, can we can we actually um, pick stages relevant to the matchup? I think that would be fun. Oh, could no, you I... choose stage? No, I don't think you can, can you? Uh... Oh, if it's anyone, maybe you can. Any player. If it's anyone, maybe, maybe we pick a new one. Player rather than us. Oh, yeah, they, they, like the CPU would pick their own stage. All right, let's do um, Battlefield and Omega, I think, is a pretty fair way of doing it. Because the worst thing would be someone gets a shitty stage and then they get shafted by something. Like, you know, like maybe Little Mac gets put on fucking Jungle Japes <laughs> or something like that. I mean, I know yeah, we don't have Little Mac, but you know what I mean. There are so many stages that could ruin people, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, advanced. Stage has its off, obviously. Launch rate normal, pausing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's keep it like this. So we've got final smashes on now. Niji smash. Oh, wait, Ike threw something out? What did Ike say? Ike is Ike, shoe. Oh, Ike's just like shoe. I, I kind of feel, I feel like it would be really funny for shoe to come and win it as, oh, did he keep Oh, it saved the picks. Oh, thank God, okay. Oh, oh that's even better. All right, let's go. Yeah, I was going to say shoe. I feel like that would just be funny seeing Diddy Kong take it to the end. <laughs> <laughs> I also think Salad would be pretty funny. Do you want to like shake it up a few times just for the fun? All right, let's Fresh shake it up until we have times. interesting matchups. So first is, I mean, Petra versus um, Finana to begin with, and then Ike versus Luca, Maria versus me, <laughs> Diddy Kong versus Sonic, Yugo versus Shu. That's pretty good as it is. And I like the dragon versus dinosaur in the top right. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then and then Enna versus Mr. Kyo versus Uki. All right. I think I think this one looks pretty good to start with. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. 
All right, everybody, are you ready? Are you ready? It's time to smash! Oh, let's go. I love how serious he looks. <laughs> Round one. King DDD, Petra Gurin. Do not skip the battle. I want to see it all. Oh, yeah. We can't skip any of these. Probably three stock anyway. This will be good. Ikuzo. On Yoshi's story, we have Petra Gurin immediately going for the butt slam. I've never been so surprised in my life. <laughs> no, that makes total sense to me. Petra going for an edge guard off stage. to prove who's the better aquatic warrior. Petra could have gone for a mean <laughs> spike there, but we're seeing that Petra has a bit more of a restrained play style. But Finana is hitting her with some nasty combos. The back air combos are off stage. She's already oh. been edge guarded. Petra is out for the count. One stock oh. down already. And she went for the disrespect. She tried to head stall her, foot stall her. Petra Yo, trying to put some shield damage down on, down on Finana. Ooh. Almost broke it in one hit. Let's go. <laughs> Petra going for fun. another edge guard. Has Petra dropped too low? Petra's going to be oh. fine. She's making it back. Oh, the counter. A nice kick right up the butt hole. Oh. She went for the oh. pussy, as Finana should. All right, Gununu's getting to a high percent. It's not going to take long for uh, for Petra to take the stock. Oh, that's it. Let's go. That's nice. it. Use the spidey. Oh. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like Finana has a commanding lead here. Got an interesting combo game on Petra. You know, the big body Petra, unfortunately, with all that power, easy to combo. Finana unlocks her final smash. Will she be able to land it? Yeah, Petra just can't help it. With she's, both final smashes moving. on deck, who will get it off first? Come this on, could Petra, be a major comeback. No! It. Petra loses it. Oh, Petra man. getting sliced up by Finana. Sent into the stratosphere. Dang. And with that, Petra has lost her ultimate smash for now as well. Looking back, her for smash Petra. meter is a little higher up, so she has a chance to get it back before the end. But Finana's edge guarding is just on another level. Wow, it really is. I think not Petra barely makes it back to stage. Oh wow, yeah, I didn't know DDD could go that deep. Oh, Petra's getting revenge for everything. Oof. Everything. Oof. That we have a final smash on deck. Petra level. has an opportunity for a real comeback here. Come on, Petra. Yes! Yes! There oh, it wow. is! There it is! Come on! If Petra lands this final smash, if Petra lands this final smash, it could be a yeah. real comeback. All Petra needs to do is one combo and then final smash and it's done and she's catching him down. You know, ever since ever since they nerfed uh... Petra's up here, this this, meta, this game's meta has never really been the same. Loses the final smash! <laughs> oh no! No! Petra! Didn't want Petra. To use it. Nah. Petra is wiped out by Finana Finana's early on fast. in the tournament. Unfortunately. Our lovable big penguin has been taken out by the fish. It's fine. It was it was just too much speed. It was just too much speed. Petra's better at sliding around on the ice. They if it was on handle. an ice stage, Petra would have handled had that. <sighs> would have had just that. can't handle the slipperiness. Next Finana up, kind of cracked. We have off stage fight was wild. Oof. Yeah, like Finana was going for some crazy off stage plays. She seems to have a lot of boldness when it comes to it. But anyway, we'll see how she fights against one of these guys. Whoever wins, this is. Ike Evelyn versus the Mafia Boss, the ultimate planker of Niji En songs, the blonde bombshell with the biggest boobs. It's Luca Kaneshiro. Begin! It's showtime! Here they go. On a battlefield stage, lots of room to work with platforms. Here we go. Ike Evelyn Ike appears to know what he's doing. This. He did not sign up for this, but he did sign up to use those nares to begin combos. Oh, this music is so fitting for a fight with Luca, Jesus. It really is. It's so energetic. Luca's hitting him with the mean combo. It should be his He's getting team. ready for the backflip. Ike getting away. He's feeling a little overwhelmed. Oh, no. Ike's trying to be tactical, and Luca is just going in hard. Oh, nice little games. combo. Starting it with the down tilt. Spot dodge, that but Luca nice. reads his spot dodge, and Ike is already out for the count. Oh my god! Lucas is too powerful! He's been warmed up for this. He wakes up at 5 a.m. every day. 
Luke has been working out, whereas Ike has been working on his novels. But then Ike hits him with a meaty back air. Oh, there you go. Ike's got the power. The Ike evil is meta defining back air. than the sword, but Ike would beg to differ. Let's go, Ike. That was a really good line. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> I got oh, one. a mini forward <laughs> smash being eaten, but Ike has his final smash on board. Dodges the oh. power geyser and misses the final smash. Goes a little bit too greedy for <sighs> it. He needs to take him out. He's not got long left at this point. If Terry gets his ultimate smash and takes it a two stock lead, that's just, it's the end for Ike. Come on, Ike. We like Ike. Oh, we like and Terry Ike. has his final smash. Will he hit it? Will oh. he miss it? Who knows? Is Ike going to go for a, will he be Spike Eveland? I don't know if he Come will. On, Spike Eveland. Oh, Terry. Luca hits him with the final smash. Oh. Luca rears up the Mafia punch. Oh, Ike Eveland knocked he out of the party. Let's change that line. It's not here comes the big boss. It's here comes the mafia boss. Oh, oh but Ike hitting him with an up air. Oh, nice now, kill, Ike. Let's the, go. The thing about Ike Evelyn, he's got some serious killing power. Every time I get rejected by this man, my heartbeat slows by just a little <laughs> bit. So if anyone can make a comeback, I think it's him. But he's going for some strange options. He's charging up his neutral beam yeah, in neutral, which beam? is a strange option. Right at ledge, too. He couldn't even get the length out of that. What? I it's think the, well, probably the only thing right now. the only thing in the world that Ike Evelyn does not get much length out of. I tell, I'm telling you that. <laughs> but Ike has his Very final true. smash on board. Luca goes oh. for a risky edge guard, makes it back. Ike has an opportunity. He hits him with the uh. final smash. If he bounces off the top platform, this could be an early kill. I think that should get it's a platform. kill. It's a, Luca is dead at okay. 20%. This is I Ike's chance top. for a comeback. Come on, Ike. Come on, Ike. Come on, Ike. Also, he's got the rage meter now, so he is ready. All he needs to do is get him to 20% and get one smash attack, and he could take out Terry. One Terry smash attack at ledge heavy. could be enough to take Terry out for the count. We've got to see what Ike Eveland is going to oh! do. Oh, could he spike? Not close. Not quite. Not quite. Imagine if that was the Spike Eveland moment. Oh, the Spike. If, if Ike Eveland finished this with a <gasps> risky counter, but Luca oh. is not able to capitalize. Ah. Oh, he's fishing for counters now. He's panicking. He's ah! Oh, Ike refuses to give. Damn. And the winner is Luca Kaneshiro! Damn, he didn't even say anything. He just... He's done. <sighs> Boss too strong? Yeah. Boss too strong. Oh, you haven't strong. gone yet, Alira. Don't worry about Don't it. Don't worry, Alira. You'll be in soon. Next up is... Maria Marionette versus Box Akuma! Akuma. Akuma. Akuma! 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 Begin! Let's go, Maria! Show him the power of an edgelord, Chuni! Show him the power of the monkey punch! <laughs> Vox comes in with an urn early side B, trying to ground Maria to get a combo off, but it doesn't connect. Maria's Wolf is out here, with that, out here with that lingering nair, but will I be able to land an interesting grab combo, charging up my ultimate meaty monkey punch? She's bobbing, she's weaving, she's keeping him at edge. She knows exactly how to play Valorant or Apex. Let's but, go. Oh, hitting him with the monkey swipe. Vox Akuma come, answers back. Oh. Forward air, up air. Double slap. And already Donkey Kong's damage is ridiculous. He is bringing the pain back. Maybe I'm coping. No, you Could right. Maria oh. hit you so many the times. The tech, but the Vox oh. Akuma tech. You love Ooh. to see it. Oh, another grab. Tried to take it to the sky, but Maria oh, turned it around. Oh my the god! Oh, the Vox no. Akuma footstool! There's no way! Oh, Maria, no! The disrespect! Like the double footstool! You gotta get revenge, Maria. Come, Come on, on, Donkey Kong, don't do me wrong here! The up tilt, triple up tilt combo, Vox Akuma oh. classic. I did that to Tokugawa before he managed to defeat me. And the disrespect. monkey punch final smash. She's just a doll! She's just a doll! <laughs> Uh, and this monkey is about to underestimate his own strength. She just can't kill Vox. Oh, but Maria with the back throw and loading up the final nice! smash. This could be an okay. opportunity this for a comeback. A comeback, yeah. Just a bit of damage, and the, then yeah, that's the a forward throw finisher. lines up the final smash. Oh, she didn't even give a fuck about getting the kill. She just wanted some damage. She's in it. It's not enough for the kill. No, but it's good enough to get some edge guarding. Vox makes it back to stage. Oh, Maria's scared to go off stage after that footstool. I would be too. I'm not going to lie. That was dirty. She's learning a lesson, but the monkey punch is back online. This could be an early kill. Oh, no. Let's see what happens. Will Fox Akuma be able to land it? Let's have a look. 
The spike! The up tilt! Oh no! It's becoming more even! Okay, he's, he's draining out. Forward tilt. a bit smashed. Just avoid for now. Oh, come on. Almost oh. a kill with a spike, but he lets so the final behind. smash meter wear down. That is a huge loss in resources. Yeah, Almost saving it for another stop. halfway charged back up. Come on, Mario. You've just got to get a kill. You need to stop going through these weak hits. You need to go for a finisher. Ugh. Oh, she went for it there. That up smash oh. would have done it. Oh, keep it in my edge. A back throw would do it. Donkey Kong right almost taken out by the up air. Oh! But the back air seals oh, it out. No, Mario. Mario is taken out. It's close, a it's close, a close, close situation. Donkey Kong's second stock is almost on its way out. How much damage yeah. can he do before he loses it? Let us have a look. This is a good match of speed versus strength. This is way more balanced than the last time we had this. Maria goes for a risky side B, but Vox Akuma not oh, able to counter it. Maria's final smash on deck, and uh, the second stock taken away. It's all okay. down. Last Go stock situation, again. final smash on board. Come on, Maria, just a little bit of damage. Take him out, get him into three. He hits it. That'll do it. She hits the final smash. Oh, she wasted it too early. It's again, a little Maria. too early. It's not going to be enough to kill. No. It's only 40%, even stocks. It's okay, that's okay. Keep going. Yes. Able yes. to punish. Oh, the end lag does not. Vox Akuma does not manage to grab the ledge. Down tilt. Down tilt. Down tilt. The old classic jab two. Oh, the Almost hits a forward smash. Back. Oh, it's close. And the Vox Akuma monkey punch is back online. Will oh, he be able to geez. waste it, or will he hit it this not time? Like this. He lands the final smash. No. Oh, and the winner is Vox Akuma. By a landslide. Jeez. Fox Akuma takes the gold and Maria Marionette is knocked out of the tournament. She did her best. She stayed in there for a long time considering how much you were beating her in the combos that and the was sheer damage out. The amount of the amount of just just Whoa. manly energy coursing through that was ridiculous. Obviously, due yeah. to an uneven tournament, Sunny Briscoe automatically advances to the next round and our next match. As he should. He's Steve. He's he is, Steve. He's the power. His, the power next match be. is Shu Yamino versus Yugo Asuma. Hey, 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 hey. Begin. So ready for this. Oh. Every time, every time I see the skip thing come up, I'm like so carefully trying not to hit yes. Yeah, my mind wants to say yes to watch the fight, and it's like it's like wait a minute, no. <laughs> Yugo this opening up with a forward good. tilt this and a homing so attack. Speed. Whoa. But Shu with the raw air. Shu pulls out the banana. His ultimate strategy. The banana is on deck. <laughs> misses the banana the first time. Will he hit it again? Lands the banana. The banana gets Let's caught go. by Yugo midair with the Z catch. Oh. But, Damn, will, but will Shu's so patented peanut attack be enough to stop Yugo? Yugo's speed is a little too much, but it doesn't. It runs out right before he lands there. Oh, the banana came in clutch. Saved Shu's life there. Truly was chosen by God. Yugo with a down throw, putting a little more damage on Shu. Shu relying on the banana, maybe a little too much. It's his signature, but is it right for this matchup? We have to ask ourselves, does he have the setups to make it work? That's the problem. Sonic's just so fast. He can jump right over it, get around it. The meaty Ooh. Shu Yamino back air, but almost edge guarded by that spring. It's oh, now an yeah. even match. Everybody knows Sonic Springs are the worst, and Yugo is using them to the ultimate Shu right with now. a raw up smash, a read, a beautiful oh, read so from close. Shu Yamino. Out comes the banana. But you go with the edge guard. Oh, damn. This is this is another this no. was another very close bout. Yeah, Shu came back so quickly with that smash attack. Shu wants to finish this. Shu is mad. Oh, even just the up tilt almost took him. He left that banana out. Just Yugo is avoiding damage so effectively. Yeah. And lands an up Hard smash, but. On it. Oh, we have another final smash. This might be oh, it for Shu. His second stock might be out. Shu's second stock is gone. Oh, God. Two stocks immediately. But Shu is Come almost on, Shu. back to his final smash revenge. meter. We've seen comebacks happen before. We certainly have. If he gets his final smash now, he does some damage. DDD's pretty good at doing just massive damage out of nowhere. Oh, he uses it immediately. <laughs> it's not quite enough to take the stock. No. Shu Yamino is a stock like behind. 30%. Oh, Grabs the banana. right off the edge. I thought he was going to get edge guarded there. <sighs> He's using that banana as much as he can. 
This is the problem with Sonic. You can't even use long range against him. He's too fast. She would normally have the advantage of at least being able to take out an opponent from afar, but no. Sonic just too speedy. This oh, is God. a bad match. I, I'm, 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 I have to be honest. I'm really rooting, for my, really rooting for my gen mate here. I want to see the comeback happen. I'm really rooting for him too. I always love a good underdog story. And I hate Sonic too. And Shu, yeah, everybody hates Sonic. And Shu is working so hard for this. He started off playing so aggressively. He's become so defensive in this second half. He's really going for those he shield saw that grabs. He was yeah. Just not getting. Yo, the grab! Oh, man. If Shu had been playing like this since the beginning, this may have been his Listen, match. He's working on that final smash. If he manages, he if Hugo charges his final smash, but uh, Diddy, uh, but Shu can kill him before he manages to use it, he might actually have a chance. He's playing so Maybe. defensively now. That's the problem with Sonic's final smash as well. He doesn't even need to think about it. He just lets it rip and it does its damage. Just carry Super you up Sonic in this style. Oh, oh, but he almost it's very close. It's very close. It is. But the truth he is, it's gonna be stock. it's gonna be difficult. He's gonna have to take that stock the instant Yugo charges his final smash. The Yugo awesome attacks! He techs it! Oh, and he edge guards Diddy Kong! Shu Yamino is knocked out of the tournament early on! Oh, you go with just too much APM. You'd think Shu would be the one with the APM, but my God, that counter, being able to tech that and then immediately kick him right back. Oh, oh it was a, it was a worthy play. Strong. Hugo played well, but sadly, uh, it just, it just wasn't enough to deal. He fought too many cyborgs in his time. He was too ready. Scala too advances ready. to the next round and our next battle is between. Of course she does. She's the Enchantress. Aster Arcadia. Arcadia. Versus, versus Millie Parfait! Begin! The chaotic energy it is palpable. Chaos, I call it fun. <laughs> and fighting yeah, in space is well, very fitting. Pre debut, and then he met Ren and was like, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I've had enough chaos for one lifetime. <laughs> Yeah. Suddenly he was just like, no, I'm back to just being general cheerful guy. <laughs> Millie hitting with the broom. Oh, we I forgot Isabel has a broom and Millie's a witch. This is a perfect pick, isn't it? Exactly. So spot on. Oh, these combos are coming nice. Ro Rosalina's, Rosalina's getting the two disjoints hits and coming back, though. The disjoints. The disjoints coming out. <laughs> Millie's got a lot to deal with, but can she use the fishing rod? Now, Millie's Millie got that. Millie just put Rosalina on to 69 and was just so happy with that. She let it sit for a while. <laughs> Gets the edge guard. But Luma's still on stage. Oh, grab. Yeah, Luna coming in clutch, pushing Millie right off. Very effective edge guarding from Asta. Yeah, and Asta's going for the spike there. Using Luma to create a lot of space, but Millie still has a percent lead. Remember, Asta is a star. Luma is part of him, and Asta is not letting them get away with standing anywhere near Luma. Seeing Luma is such a good get off me. But now finally Millie has rid of it. So let's go, Millie! Set up your counters. The up tilt works. No. The forward air almost taking a kill with just a forward air. She tried the Yamate Kuda stop, but it just didn't hit. <laughs> oh, Luma's but gone again. The trap, immediately. the down B yeah. takes Rosalina's you first stock. Let's go, Millie! You do not play card games against Millie Parfait. She is a genius. She has the knowledge. Cool. She's. That's true. She, you, she, Aster activated her trap card. Literally. Trying to use some crazy plays oh. to pull off stage with the... And, and Millie yeah. has now activated her final smash. She'll attempt to build the box around Aster. This is, yep, yeah, also very Millie. The Will box she be connects! Able to complete her Minecraft? Yes! Uh, massive damage, super high in the air. And Aster's kill. second stock is gone! Oh. Out for the count immediately! So much energy. Let's go, Millie! Come on, Asta. But Rosalina's okay, final smash is, is, is out and ready to go. Will Asta be able to summon the star or will it be not enough? We'll have to wait and see. Got the power of the stars, Asta. Are you going to is use Is Millie it? about to get a three stock on the most powerful no member of Niji EN? It's not it's looking like it. She gets devoured. Oh, there we go. That was toxic. Luma coming in clutch. The final he smash didn't even would've... wait for Luma to finish it. He just up smashed her. The, Let's go. The final Asta smash would have killed it, but Asta didn't want to wait. But it's a, it's not close at all. Millie has a two-stock lead, and Asta is oh. on death percent easily. Jesus, One edge guard will do it. Trap guard! Oh, she's another trap card! Asta is on the oh. verge of death. 
Now that he survived. Just that, about survived. But the Astro Arcadia DI is not enough to survive yeah. that hit. Millie Parfait advances to the next round. The Witch of Calamity does it again. She can even take on the stars. Millie Parfait oh. wins the fight. Smiling so sweetly after sending that man right back to where he came from. I don't think we could have Jeez. picked something better for Millie if we really tried. No, building houses like Minecraft using that broom like a witch. So good. Now, Such Folga, chaotic energy. Folga, I hate to say it, but your next fight is against Millie. Oh, I know. I'm going down. Oh. <laughs> I will put up my best fight. <laughs> we'll have to see. But Isabel is scary. Next up, we have the two dinosaurs, the reptiles. Two very powerful members of Niji Sanji and we have the dragon, Solan Totsky versus the dinosaur alien, Renzoto. Begin. Renzoto. Let's go. We have a mushroom risotto versus, I don't know what a food, food. Is there any food that you can have with a, a lizard? I don't. I don't really know, honestly. There probably isn't some. You just have a lizard on a stick. Yeah, Liz it's all good. Versus the lizard on a stick. <laughs> Selen immediately trying to breathe some fire, but Ren answering back with a down air that does oh. By the way, Yoshi's down air can do a pretty silly amount of damage if all of the ticks land. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. And it does feel very Ren, just stepping all over someone. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yes. But Selen with the space pirate rush. Oh. And Yoshi does not have a great recovery. Ridley is very good at keeping people off stage. Rid this could be very bad. Selen for going for pure aggression and immediately Whoa. answering by taking Ren's first stock. I'm surprised we didn't see a taunt or a teabag there. Selen must just be doing too nice to have Kohai right now. Oh, the combo just batting him in the air. And the fire. Oh, God. The Selen space pirate just... rush. The so final smash damage. is on deck, but will it be enough? Can Ooh. Selen answer back in time? She's not even edge guarding him. She's just letting him recover. She is not worried at all right now. Ridley's main strength is edge guarding, but Selene is choosing not to. That final smash is going away. Ren has to use it now, but he's taken oh. out by the up air. Jeez. He does get to keep most of his final smash that way. And Selene but, with oh, the final Selene smash. 41%, 55 out of nowhere. Him. But the final smash is back on deck. Will he be able to take a stock and use it to take a second? Or is this the end for Ren? Will we be seeing our first Niji EN three stock? Pirate Rush. Come on, Pirate Rush. Oh, he's close to winning. Oh, that was Ooh. a now near miss. <laughs> Oh, why would Yoshi go off edge? That's a bad choice, Yoshi. <laughs> oh, and he's Selen is taken out. Ren, what are you doing? But he loses oh, the okay. final smash. Let's go. Can he recover from this problem? Ren, you job. madman. Will he be taking it back? Or are we looking <laughs> at another situation like last time? Another clean oh, there's sweep. The rush. There's the edge guard. Oh, a little bit of fire. Yeah, okay. I think Ren's done. No yeah. jump for Ren. He's and already he's out dead, for the count. He's already dead. I've never seen a more Selen Tatsuki game in my entire life. Oh. And the winner she is... She took away his job. Selen Tatsuki. And that's almost the teabag, so I'm so happy with that. She got the teabag in. She got the little crouch in the victory screen. Very, very good. Oh, Selen. Ren was too scared to even use his ultimate smash. This poor man. Is intimidated. We've got a classical fantasy creature versus a futuristic fantasy creature, an alien. And sadly, the old ways always try hard. Anyway, or die hard, whichever one it is. <laughs> Our next fight. It's the It Takes Two Gaming Combo. It's the songbird from heaven and hell versus the detective who doesn't know how to wash his rice. It's Anna Alouette versus Mysterious. Begin. Let's go. This one's going to be good. Uh, best friends turn to enemies. We have camping and slow stalling versus raw aggression from Pikachu. Let's see how this works. Ender beginning with a rising pound. Ooh, getting Ender ready to do some shield him. damage. But Mister's combos Everything were a little too tough. Throws at him. Yeah, okay, Mister's turned it around now. Oh, and she just gets the kick right to the face. You love to see it. That's so Anna. Anna is loving that pound move, which I feel like is kind of fitting for her. She's just going all <laughs> in, trying to get as much damage as possible and hoping to catch him off guard with his shield out so that she can perform a rest. 
to take him out early. It would be wild if she did that so early. Pikachu might be a top three character in Smash, but Jigglypuff has that X factor. She has that rest. If she can land it, Ooh, Pikachu stocks are gone. Oh, thunder. with the Let's thunder go. from Mr. Oh, she got dragged down. Just like getting cast out the of the down air. Into hell. Jigglypuff, Anna, she can't approach. Mr. is so good at throwing out these hitboxes. He's not letting her get in. Yeah, and is absolutely terrified of getting And she in. misses the rest and is punished oh, for it. Oh, no. With the, the forward, forward smash, smash from Mr. Rios. Oh, God. But Jigglypuff has no her final smash. Will it be enough to take Pikachu out or can he get out of the way in time? Oh, let's see. Oh, she did it too hard. It does fucking nothing like nothing. Jigglypuff's final smash usually does. <laughs> Oh, and Mr. Final is Smash is like almost on deck. Yeah, and he doesn't have to do much to get his Final Smash. It does so much damage. It's not looking good for Edda Alouette. But it's I don't think she good. particularly wants to be here today. I think she just wants to go back to sleep. She's tired. She is. She's sleepy. She wants to float away and find somewhere to have a nap. But in order to do that, yeah. she has to dispatch of this rat. Giving him... That was a very Edda Alouette move. Just like trying to yeah, break Mr. On spine. Top of him. <laughs> she has been dealing with too much Zuma energy recently. She is tired. She needs a nap. Trying to space Mr. out, not wanting to let him get that sideways forward final smash, but it's not enough. He lands it oh, anyway. That's a no. stock down. Yeah. Three stocks to one. Come on, Edda. Mr. Oh. Fishing for that thunder attack. Trying to get out of the yeah, way. He's Knows he's on a high so percent. Fishing for a three stock here. We've got a lot of really interesting opportunities for three stocks, but never quite so much. Yeah, Mr. Oh. doing so well to oh. keep her length right now. Enna goes for a sing to try and disable Mr., but it's not quite enough. It doesn't quite land in time. Counter attacks it like a goddamn Beyblade hitting from the bottom. And Mr. is fully oh, throwing Mr. out all of these projectiles, camping Enna out, not, letting her, not getting aggressive, not letting his lead get to his head. We have another final smash. Will it be enough to take oh! a stock? It is the Jigglypuff final smash. She's got to aim this very well. She's got to knock him off the edge and up. Uh, well. It's enough! Yo. That is the first time I've seen Jigglypuff's oh! final smash kill! Yeah. I think Mr. was just distracted from that one. Maybe he got lowered into a false sense of security from the singing. Natural born genius? Perhaps not. And Alouette has a chance now to take this back. But remember, Jigglypuff is the second lightest character in the game after Pichu. Yeah, one strong Pichu hit, one forward tilt, one smash attack. And that's going to be it. The rest is missed. Uh, Enna falls asleep in the middle of the battle because she just can't be fucked anymore. And Mr. walks Joe away with the trophy. Let's go, Mr. He looks so proud of himself. I'm All right, you can't, I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. Mr. Yeah, no, that was devastating. Oh, we have a very interesting fight up next. It's Mr. Mr. Chaos, Chaos, but he calls it fun. The Pokemon legend. Newest member of Niji Ien as a member of Eluna. It's Kyo Kanako versus the Psychic. The, what else do I, what else do I say about Uki without offending him? <laughs> I feel like he, I feel like I say one wrong thing, he's gonna get mad at me. The soothsayer, the one who lulls you into a false sense of security and then devastates you every time. Clutch King Uki Violetta. <laughs> Let's begin. Let's do it. This is gonna be very interesting because this is another person who cannot deal with high energy. Dealing with the Zuma was already devastated and for two or three weeks we in a row. We have raw psychic power. Kyo opening with a lot of fast options. Covers Uki in blue paint already. Uki is not you know happy you about would this. Love that. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure he'd be into it. Fair enough. I don't know him like that, but I'm glad that you do. Oh, yeah. Uki right now would be making so many fun comments at Kyo to try and catch him off balance. Oh, but Kyo is not backing down. He tried to put him straight into the ground. Uki going for a mean edge guard. Hits a forward air oh. off stage. Trying to get a projectile charge so that he can go for an early kill. But he uses his up B yeah. in the air and is going to get punished for it while in free fall. Oh, why would he do that? Why did he not commit to the off stage thing either? Mewtwo's got very good off stage. 
Always giving him the telekinesis, throwing him all landing around. Landing a the back arena. air. Landing a back air. Oh, it's a very Joe's even got fight. So much speed. Now Mewtwo's got oh, some good throws. Lands the up smash. Kyo is sent is flying Kyo? into the stratosphere. He said, Uki takes the first stop. Bed. It's past your bedtime. Oh, can Kyo bring it back? He is coming very close to being able to bring out his iPad and play all the music he wants to. <laughs> He's going to bring out his iPad and type slash kill in the Gmod command menu. <laughs> Meanwhile, Uki too busy. Uki with the final smash. Right he now. gets it and Uki uses it immediately. It. It's not enough to kill, Go. but it does a substantial amount of damage. Can he edge guard him? No, he cannot. The but Uki is, avoids the final smash. Oh, he but it's not enough. <laughs> He, kill, though, he blasts. Let's get it started, but it isn't enough to kill. He just has to find it otherwise. Away options. They are just instantly going with their high, heaviest attacks. Uki with a big lead right now, but Kyo does have a rage meter and a lot of speed. That massive Uki Violetta Ooh, back air. Oh, Uki yeah, really very is. nearly not oh. able to make it back. Yeah, I didn't even see what Kyo did there. I don't know if he footstooled him or just gave him a little love tap down there. But either oh. way, it almost took Uki out. Oh, he's down. Kyo with oh, the ground, but not quite enough for a though. punish. It did give him enough time to charge up his ink, though. Uki with the reflex. Oh, reverse. Uki reflects Yo, the projectile Uki. for a kill. He literally saw it coming. He said, no, oh. you. He psychically projected it and said, no, you. He really said, bitch. That's, you can take that right back. Bitch. Uki with a Let's stock go, advantage okay. gets Kyo with the up throw, ready to start a juggle combo, but backs off, plays defensively, lands the forward air, pushes him off stage. Early He's so ready around. to put Kyo in a terrible situation, but will it be enough? He wants to avenge Enna Alouette, his sworn bitch friend. They're the only two who can keep up with each other's burns. Kyo, Kyo is trying to keep up. Is he going to say Hajime Master? How about it, Kyo? He's waiting oh, for it. He's saving kill. it. Will it be enough? If Uki gets that off, it's all over for Kyo. Oh, is this too late for Kyo? Did he, oh, did he hold back too much? He's he held back. Kyo! He did not Why? say Hajime Mashte. But Come and on, Uki lands his final smash. Kyo, oh. his head explodes. And he's not able to get the roast out that will bring him the victory. The winner has to be Uki. Be a star has fallen in Kyo's eye, and he was judged not worthy to take the power. No longer divine, he is shut down and isekai'd back to his own world. God damn. Rosami being Rosami automatically advances to the next round because she's just built fucking different like that. Let's be honest, everybody was scared to challenge Satan Semi. Good luck, Uki, in the next fight. Oof. Next up, we have. The leader of Lazulite, the celestial sky dragon herself, Alira Pandora! Do you want to introduce Albin? Mm. He said it way back in his debut. First your heart, and then all three of your stocks. The Phantom Thief, Albinox! Let's go! That was a really good intro, by the way. You're good at coming up with those. You're way better. The fact you've come up with so many already is just... Every time you do that, I'm like, damn. No, no, every time you do that, I'm like, damn. <laughs> Illyra opening Let's up go. with a down Illyra air and the neutral B. Illyra fishing for projectiles already and getting a lot of percent on Albin. A nice, yeah, a little bit of lag she got from that. The Illyra down throw, chat, bringing out on. her dragon form. Oh, but the Phantom Thief does have a gun. Nobody was supposed to be allowed a gun in Smash, but, you know, Albin said, I'm a phantom thief. I can sneak it through. What are you going to do? If Solid Pomu can bring an RPG to a knife fight, then I think we can allow him a Glock for some self-defense. True. And it is supposed to be canonically a BB gun. It's all about the emotion of it. Exactly. But it's can the, it's the it emotional down. damage of getting hit with a BB in a combat situation. But right now, by a it's... BB by a fucking 16 year old, it would destroy <laughs> Elira, you. Elira taking Albert's first dog with Let's a precise go! up smash. After predicting oh. his land on the platform, Elira's reads and spacing have been immaculate so far. It's true. Albert has the speed advantage by far in this, but so far, Elira has just known exactly what he's doing. Elira, she has the tactics. She's been here for years. She, and she is ready. Mm -hmm. She is zoning the fuck 
out of Albin, and Albin is struggling to find an answer, but his final smash is on board, and she wastes... He's not able to punish oh. it! She uses... Why would he she's not, not use his smash? Oh, it's enough! Albin that coming in with the rest though. of the Phantom Thieves okay. to deliver. Here comes the pain. Here comes the pain. Albin Knox incinerates Alira Pandora's first stock. Doesn't even have to get take her to the Blast Zone. Just destroys her. She's just really did take her heart. This just did Alira Pandora's fucking dead. <laughs> it's fine. She's still got a lead. She's kicking it. And off. she lands her and final she smash. Has her final. Let's go! Alira bringing the thunder! Albin Knox is out for the count! Two more stocks for Alira, and one for Albin! Who will it be? You gotta remember, she may only have a couple of months ahead as being a Niji Sanji member. She is the original, but when it comes to life, she has hundreds of millions, if not billions. It's pretty unknown years on this phantom thief who is literally a child to her. Come on, Elira, take him out. Who will win? Endless oh. years of experience or a fucking baby boy? But the baby Come boy on. has a meaty down air with that Arsene in play. Albin literally calling in his daddy right now. I was going to say he's bringing in the spirit of his of his friend from the future who died. Maybe that's a bit personal. Oh. Victorious. And yeah. he lands! He <laughs> lands with the up smash! It's now an nice. even game! Okay. Joker with his comeback so mechanic could take it back! Smash. But remember, Joker is a super light character. One strong hit from Alira, and that will be enough. But he has I his final remember. smash on deck! We used exactly. it too early! Albin is the anime protagonist. He is all about having the power of his friends. Maybe this will give him what he needs. Maybe he will use this to push forward. 45%. It's an even fight. One strong hit from Alira will be enough, but Joker has that frame data advantage. He's very I'll close to death. Like, hey there, are you the new girl? One of his no, ass hairs goes right and next to the Blast Alvin. Zone. Goes deep, makes it back. Oh, at the edge continuously, these two. The forward tilt, very this. nearly killing Albin, but the Arsene oh. is in play, making him one of the most powerful characters in Smash by far. Yeah, top tier all the way through. It's close. Alira's final smash is on deck. Will he let her oh. use it? That's the question. He's Come being on, very Sky risky, Dragon. but she counters. You could have used it right there, Alira. Oh, this is getting real close. Whew. Arsene is almost out for the count. Arsene is gone. And Alira, Alira with a lies. drop down up air. Yes! Shocking Alira. album just barely takes it. The winner is Alira Pandora. Alvin had the power of his friends, the power of anime, the power of David Kun, but Alira would just not let go. Had too much pride, turned into a dragon and stomped him out of existence. It, oh <sighs> my God, I'm so glad this is a matchup. Look at what is where we're up against now. <laughs> Aya versus Pomu in the most ridiculous, overpowered. Aya's probably going to write a fan fiction about this later, and I can't wait to read it. All right. Our next fight. She's been kicked out of heaven, and now she's ready to kick you out of whichever building you're sat in currently. She's just kind of angry like that. Representing Sephiroth, it's Aya Amare! And in the opposite corner, it's it's the fairy who's been going through every single Metal Gear Solid game and might as well just be just have the power of this man with all of these guns combined. It representing Solid Snake, it's Pomu Rainbow. Begin. Let's go. This we, is a matchup to end the centuries. And uh, it's on fucking Final Destination as well. Of course it is. This is the only way it could be for such powerful characters. Immediately, Pomu deploying the grenades. Getting ready to zone. She is camping ledge like it's no tomorrow. <laughs> she plants the C4, predicts Aya Amari's movements. With the oh down smash. My God, that the was combo. almost a perfect edge guard. Pomu's ledge nice. trapping has always been meta defining, but I never expected to see it come out like this. Yeah, Pomu is With just the using everything smash, the read. right now. I have never seen somebody use that many projectiles in that good an order. Everything has been planned out. And she's just luring him into the middle of the stage to get the C4. Aya's aggression is coming out. Oh, she's going for the flare attack, but it's not quite enough. Oh. Will she land upon the C4? Or does she know better than that? 
Pomu just flies slightly above her with her little fairy wings and gets ready to drop kick. Oh. Oh. I with a nice fast fall down there, but it's not fairy. enough. The up smash. The up smash connects. Po oh, the spike. Pomu oh. with the spike. Pomu said no. No more of this. I know how to kick you out of heaven. The Get Pomu forward there. air. Pomu Dachi's rejoice. Oh. But Aya, Aya Amare is, is ready. But doesn't have time to throw it. Aya's back and she's got her final smash. She's mad and is ready to make the sun go supernova just to take a stock. Aya Amare is ready, is ready to, to cause havoc and angel. pain. But Pomu whips out her final smash instead. Oh, targeting Aya with all of the rockets. Oh, there's no way she can make it out of this one. Pomu oh, takes her second stock. One stock. Let's go, Pomu. Oh, Pomu but Aya with the back air takes, Pomu's, second, oh. takes Pomu's, oh. Pomu's first stock very convincingly. What's it going to be? And about to have a <gasps> final smash. Let's this go. Could be oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. That's an edge guard. Pomu's dead. There's no way. That's far at the edge. Aya will not become just a memory. It's She's a last ready to take the whole planet with her. Last one situation. One, Even go. percent. Who's it going to be? Pomu with a down air. Lanza charges a down smash right in Aya's face because she does not give a fuck. Yeah, Pomu is not going for range anymore. She wants pain. She wants to step on her. And Pomu has shown Pomu up with in the, the back chat. air. Pomu with the back air. Aya lands on the mine, but but Pomu cannot detonate it. Oh, just no time. Sephiroth. Pomu over with these her. combos. Put her to sleep. Could not capitalize. Just on about. Come on, solid Pomu. Aya. Yes. Aya goes. with the super armor. The super oh. armor. Aya's wing comes out and is not affected by the thing. Her up smash connects and Pomu. It's knocked out of the tournament. Aya Amare walks away into the flames. Your winner is Sephiroth. That was such a comeback. That From was the so one clutch. To two. The way she took her far off stage to use her final smash right near the blast zone. Aya does not fuck around. God damn. And finally, we move to round two. Round two, where everybody gets to fight. Nobody can escape this time. Everyone's going with... to take a fight. All right. Let's go. Our oh, beginning, oh, our second oh, round, oh, battle oh, number one. We have the Angelic Mermaid from the Tropics versus the Mafia Boss from the past. It's Finana Ryugu versus Luca Kaneshiro. Let's go. Let's go. It's shout time! And yes, I'm going to do that every one of Luca's fights. Get ready. We'd love to see it. Well, let's see if this is the last fight he's got. We're on FD with platforms, which is always a little curse to look at. Oh, not only is that curse to look at, that is such a Finana buff stage with her aerial combos. That's true. This man does not have much aerial game. And if FD she would be a better stage sky, for Terry. But of course, but of course, he already <sighs> had a big advantage over Ike in the first round. So perhaps it's time that Luca went up against more of a challenge. We'll have to see. Finana already with some meaty combos. But but uh, Luca answering back with his jab, jab, power dunk combo. Luca going for oh. an edge guard. Finana techs it. Oh my god. The offstage inter- These two are, do already. not want to touch the stage. They they really said, like, Falco, I prefer the air. Which is even more wild, considering Terry is from a fighting game. He is not a jumpy character. Luca that with the was forward such throw. a nice interaction. Putting he threw out his Buster Wolf, and she sliced straight through it with her water shuriken. You love to see you it. You just love to see it. Power wave coming out. Dash attack not connecting. Down air sending, sending Finana offstage. Down tilt catching her. But will the Shadow oh. Sneak catch him? It does not. She's trying to get him with some subterfuge, but Luca's not falling for it. That is so Finana putting too much power in and missing. Ah, oh, come on, Luca. This is really close so far because Luca could finish this any second. But Finana just needs a couple good taps in the right area and she'll have Finana this has her final smash on deck and she gets the down smash, oh, taking Luca off stage and suddenly it's an even game. He's so close to getting his final smash. But and Finana the final smash from Finana. Let's go. Ninja Catching time. him below the ledge. Not enough to kill, but it's close. Although Terry now has his final smash on deck. Luca ready to unleash the fury. Luca Estes. No, Luca. Luca overestimates his recovery. <sighs> Poor giant puppy dog. Now he's lost his final smash too. 
Banana has a good lead, and she's on exactly 169, and she... Oh, she lost Now, it. Luca. Now, Luca <laughs> takes her stock, and he has his final smash. This could be a comeback. This might be enough to kill. Oh! Buster, whoa! Finana, not oh, quite dying. Boss. She lives, just about. She lives. Luca makes it Ninja's back to stage, despite died. being interrupted by Finana's up B. Oh, yeah, she almost made him SD again with that, just pushing him slightly with the water blast. Luca behind, but Finana on a higher percent. And Terry, remember, has that has that go meter, that X factor that he can use to make a comeback. He has his shot here. Yeah, if he Will he answer back? Eighty percent. He can do some major <gasps> kill damage. Oh, Finana goes for a oh, meaty edge guard, but it does not it. connect. Oh, and just barely doesn't push him away from the edge with the water up B either. Oh, she went for it again. She loves these aerial combos. The power dunk almost connecting, but Finana spaces it perfectly. Oh. Nice dodge. She got just out of it, yeah. The gentleman jab putting Terry dangerously close to 100%. Remember, Finana, once he gets 100%, he unlocks two new moves that will wipe you off the face of this planet. Oh. But the up smash she coming out, he is very close. Smash too. If he touches her, but she's she is ready out. to kill. The final smash is oh. gone. Terry's close to his, and he has the go meter online. It's a last hit situation. Who will take the gold? We'll have to see. It could still go either way. He just got a perfect input with the Buster Wolf. Just missed, though. Come on, Finana! Oh, the finish. parry! The parry! He misses the Buster Wolf! And Finana, with oh. the up smash, goes under the Through platform the and using stage. the end lag, punishes him and takes Luca oh. out of the tournament. The winner is Finana Ryugo! Good try, Luca. He planked too hard yesterday. While Finana was conserving her energy and ready to fight today. The speed was just too much. The aerial oh combo's just too good. <laughs> do you, do, do, do you want? I don't know. I don't one. know if I do want to introduce this one. <laughs> <laughs> we have in our left corner the monkey who cannot die, the king of the Akuma clan who refuses to stay underground, Vox Akuma, <laughs> with the far sounds. <laughs> and best. in our right corner. Coming from the future, betrayed by his own people, and yet ready to survive anything. Teo Agero, Sonny Briscoe! Let's begin! Let's go. You are really cool. fucking good at those, by the way. Nah, man, you are. <laughs> My one always feels cringe, but let's go. I'm so excited to see this. Vox Aqua versus Sonny Briscoe. Let's go. Sonny, Sonny immediately Briscoe answering with those long wooden pickaxe hitboxes and the down tilt going for the minecart edge guard, but it's not going to be enough. Vox answering oh. back with an up air into a jab and a forward air as well, landing the spike, but not off stage. It's a He's completely too. even percent. Going for the ding dong combo, but not quite able to land it. Percent just a little bit too high on Sonny Briscoe. Air dodging straight through the anvil. Sonny with the jab into the forward air, doing a little bit of mining. His favorite thing to do. Vox goes for the, tries to catch his low recovery, but Sonny predicts it oh. goes for a high recovery instead. Surprised Vox didn't go for the spike right there. That seemed more Vox-ish. But he's doing his best right now. They are so even there, both on 87%. The back air from Vox sending Sonny way off stage, but he makes it back. He's got that giant punch charged up. Will he be able to use it or will Sonny Briscoe answer back first? Sonny Briscoe's weapon's broken and Vox, using the super armor, manages to oh. body th straight through the anvil to take Sonny's first stock, but he wastes the giant Engine punch. For the Sonny has his tools will back. Will be able to turn it around? Sonny has his final smash. Oh. And the micro spacing. That's not micro spacing. I just ran away. But Vox <laughs> spaces it out, gets away from the final smash, and now his is online. Will he make it connect? Oh, it connects. But yes, he will. Oh, Two of Sonny Briscoe's okay, Minecraft stocks are out, and the monkey is more healthy than ever. But a forward smash from Sonny Raw hits Vox clean in the face and sends him off stage. Still 0% on Sonny. Sonny wants to turn this around. And the we forward have smash. More raw smash attacks around. going for oh, a meaty God. spike, but it's not going to connect. Oh, he really wanted to finish him there. That's Vox. That is Vox right there. Oh, the meaty edge guns. This guy loves air dodging. He really is me. <laughs> Land straight on the TNT, best. but it's too long. Oh, it doesn't manage to connect. To it up. No, just barely well, away. It goes for the spike, but it doesn't work. Sonny with the block trying to edge guard, but Vox <laughs> going high to avoid it. Sonny going deep off stage, proving he doesn't need an Eletria to fly. 
but not quite managing to finish Sonny with Mark. his final smash. Will he land it? Will he get it? Will he not? We'll have to see. Oh, if he does it, it he lands. Can take him out. It's really a last quickly. dog oh, situation. Fox Arkham yep. imprisoned in the house of creepers and blown to smithereens. And there goes the cat. <laughs> Along with Fox. There goes the cat. There goes <laughs> Arkham <laughs> Castle in one spell stroke. Sonny texts the back oh, air into the stage. The wings. But Vox has his final smash. Can he land it again? The Nair sends Sonny right off stage. All goes for the spike. Doesn't land. The back gone. air. Vox Alchema takes it again! Oh. Sonny's DI not enough to save it. Vox Alchema takes his second round. Proving he just ooh, can't ooh, die. Ooh, Vox Alchema makes it through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was such a good five. That was close as fuck. Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh boy. How do you, brother? You avenged the cat, finally. I have finally avenged that fucking cat. All right, here we go. <laughs> In the left corner, we have the DJ from the future, a resistance fighter, and the leader of one of the greatest rebellions to ever take place in the future, and also a spinner of sick beats. He brings the ruckus. He makes it loud for the people at the back, because the people at the back ain't got no slack. It's Hugo Asuma versus the Enchantress of Iluna, who yet, who is yet to make a showing in this tournament. It's Scarla Yunaguni. Let's begin. I am so excited to see how Scarla does here. Scarla's ready to take Hugo to school and take him the fuck out. See, here's the thing about Byleth. Byleth has those long hitboxes that can deal with sonic speeds. It's those disjoints that you need to deal with his approaching attacks. But will Scarla exactly. be able to use them in the right place? A well-placed side B, back air, forward smash. They can really catch Sonic off guard. Coming in with the Nair, charging a full forward nice smash, but it's combo. not going to land. Oh. He's just too close. He's just too far. Oh, He's with that messy up B into, into no. side B combo. Charging a full arrow. Scala just does not give a fuck about Sonic. No. And coming in with that unedge guardable recovery that Byleth has. And she is daring him to come off stage. She was ready for that upbeat grab. Scala throwing out all of these it. giant hitboxes. The balls on this woman are insane. I can't believe it. She was the one who challenged you pre-debut. Oh, well, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, she didn't back it up all too much, but she did challenge me. She did have balls. <laughs> and she drank you under the table. I'll give her that. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I mean, we, 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 we drank each other. It was a mutual drinking. It was mutual drinking. Mutual drinking. But anyway, Scala coming in. You go on a lower percent, kind of taking the fight back to Scala. But I, oh, I'm seeing a stronger showing from Scala, to be honest. Ooh. The back throw sending Sonic off stage. The way she managed to swing right Trying under his attack off stage. Nair. That was beautiful. Oh, the forward air, the one, sweet though. spot. Nice. Down smash, not, a not managing to catch it. Another back throw. Scarlet is getting so many good reads on Hugo. Out. There we go. Hugo's speed too predictable. Oh. The back throw again. Scarlet has her money of the week combo, but is it enough to take us? Yeah. Take us? Scarlet mm. styling on him. What the fuck was that? <laughs> She's dancing what on him. What was that? She's just throwing off Scala. her body. Enchantress through and through. Scarlet had fucking like mercy on him. She it's danced on him and then hit a per. And then the fuck. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I'm God. hyperventilating. Scarlet, you can't do this to him. him. She's just toying with him at this point. She's toying with him. She brings out Aya Amare in the background just to mock him while she slices him up. Let's go. I can't fucking believe she danced on him and then landed the sweet spot forward smash. That was fucking ridiculous. Let's go, lesbians. Let's go and get it done. Sonic charges the forward smash, but the final smash is out. out. There's Ooh, no way. There's no way Scala's oh. living this. Yeah, that'll be the end of that. Just barely catches her at the last hit. Damn. Come on, Scala. Revenge time. What's well, gonna take is one solid hit here. The up air! The up air takes oh. the stock! The she crouches! Oh, she fucking teabagged him! Did you see that? She, him. she just sat there and did the one she long crouch! What the fuck is going on? on him and she has shown off the booty. She is a true showman, ready to teach Asuma what it means to entertain. A true no DJ, enchantress. Pure enchantress. But Hugo has had enough. Answering back, trying to edge guard, but of course Byleth oh, with that, that DLC work. ass recovery. Yes. Very, very exploitable that recovery, but yeah, can recover from a lot further than you would think it would. 
Scarlet down so tilt, far having jab, the jab, most jab, personality jab. of all of our fighters. She's oh, she's really bringing the rush. Down to the the effortless spot dodge into forward tilt, up tilt. The, oh, just charging God. the bow right in his face. She's playing with she him. She does not he give a fuck about Hugo. No, she's just here for style points at this point. Oh, going for the spike, but it doesn't quite land. Does a lot of damage. Oh, did a lot of damage though. Almost killed him in the air, even with the weak spot. Do not fuck Forward around. Sends him axe. right off stage. She can jump off stage. The final smash comes out. This might be I. This is Scarlet's second oh! stock on. It's a last stock situation. But Hugo has Damn. only been able to take stocks with a final smash, and he won't get another one. And she should be able to get her final smash within this round as well, as long as nothing goes bad. As long as she doesn't get hit by a bad spring or just edge guard in some other way, she should be able she to. She's just got to hang on to her jumps, and Scarlet has so got this fight to... in the bag. So Back throw far, from I don't Hugo. Think she's countered once either. She's just been toying with him. Perfectly managing the range here. Keeping him at bay with her spear. With the side B! The perfect oh! read! Jumping right over Yugo's attack and side being to take the stock. It's Scarlet Yonaguni! She has not classed herself to Sage. She has classed herself to Dancer. She just happens to be wielding a sword, axe, and spear too. Scala is all round devastating. You love to see it. The Enchantress getting revenge for the Sorcerer. You just love to see it. Hell yeah. Whoa, that was great. Oh. I did not expect it to be that decisive. Yeah. Oh no. Here we go. <laughs> it's a battle between friends. We have two Final Fantasy companions. The Witch of Calamity, bringing magic and living in a box. It's Millie Parfait versus the closed off and reclusive cyborg from the future, who honestly is just a giant softy and a really swell guy. It's Fulger Ove! My longest yeah boy longest ever. <laughs> Fogger answering immediately with the lemons and two raw up smashes. A back air. Another up smash. What the fuck is he doing? He's mad. The raw aggression, the dash attack, but being caught by the duck. Into Final Fantasy 14 and Minecraft. Goes for an edge guard, doesn't quite land it. it. Going for the down air, sends off the buzzsaw, doesn't quite work. Oh, gets grabbed Dodges away, the grabs the buzzsaw and the leaf shield. Oh, so symbolic. Leaf shield and gets the saw ready. You were trying to edge guard Casper the fucking friendly ghost there, I think. But she set up her Yeah, I know, right? But then she set up her trap card and just was so ready. Goes for, for a me. stage spike, but oh. Millie answers back by just landing on stage. Takes the back air to the face, answers back with a leaf with a reflected, pocketed leaf shield. Oh. Yeah, that was so well aimed. Tried to and move Millie to the side of taking it, the first stock with anyway. that up air. Fulger oh, out man. for the count. Two more stocks left. Yeah, Let's see how he does it. it. Back air putting her off stage. Will he be able to use it? Slicey slice. Uses a comfy on to oh. bounce back on stage. Spot dodge not quite able to avoid the attack. And he misses his final smash. Are you serious, Folger Ovid? Stop throwing. Folger this holding is the back. Koshian tournament all over again. Oh. Lands the bud saw, getting some percentage. It's not over yet. It's a bit of a disadvantage, but he has a chance to bring this back. And she is about to get her final smash, and Millie does not miss. Unlike Folger Ovid. Olga throws up air, one might fishing say. rod. Lemons oh, from Folga sending her off stage. With him. Is this enough? She's vulnerable. She's just toying Down with him. Smash. She's getting him to a high enough percent to use the final smash. Millie is not prepared to go easy on Folga Ovid. She could have killed Forward him smash coming out. And another forward smash two in a row. The classic oh. debate. She didn't even want to use the final smash. She just wanted to feed him with her own goddamn hands. A back throw from Folger sends her off stage. He keeps depositing his his bloody buzzsaw off stage for some oh. reason. Goes for an edge guard. Doesn't manage to land it. She texts his get up attack Doesn't somehow. Get him with the dog either. Oh, this is devastating. Will this be a three stock? It could happen. She's on such a high percent. I think you've got a chance to bring it back. Remember, we've had some crazy comebacks so far with final smashes, and yours is almost charged. We have, the forward air taking Millie Parfait's first stock. Get out of these combos. Okay. One stock down at least. We did not get three stocked. She throws the pot at him just like a true adventurer should. Oh. 
with the final smash, and he misses again. Oh, oh, Folga, on. you can't be throwing him out like that. Folga Just like my pitching. I'm not good at long range. Folga experiencing his first. And Billy with the footstool. Oh, Takes so Folga it out. With a foot so I've perfect. never seen a more Millie Parfait move in my entire life. Get out of here, Folger Throvid. Folger Throvid. <laughs> Good job, Millie Parfait. Your winner of the Final Fantasy Doe is Millie Parfait. She footstooled him. She didn't use her final smash. She let him use two final smashes just off the stage. Oh, devastating. <laughs> Scala, oh. avenge me. <laughs> All right, coming up next, it's the Purple Dragon of Niji E.N., the sister of Alira Pandora, another tournament winner, getting ready to continue her streak against a fucking mouse that doesn't know how to cook, but that somehow defeated a creature from heaven. It's an unlikely bout, but who will win? It's Selen Tatsuki versus Mama 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 Mr. R -r 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 Ria. Let's begin! This is going to be a good one. Because he has so much speed, but she has so much power. It mm -hmm. depends on the stage as well. If there's platforms. Okay, no platforms. This is going good for Selene already. Yeah, I mean, but then again, Pika's combo game is pretty nuts. And Ridley is very, very big. He's very big, but he's not super slow. He's pretty good at turning he, things around. He is fast. But Pikachu already coming out with an interesting combo. Getting the up throw forward air. Although Selen answering back with a couple of up tilts, saying, yeah, respect my space. You don't know who I am. You don't know who I've killed. Mr. Doing an amazing amount of damage, but at the Mr. same time. Mr. Edgeguarding, but also playing Selen it safe. needs to get him to 50% and she can kill him with a smash. Whereas he needs to work a lot harder to get that kill. We'll see how Selen throwing out this. these long, very, very laggy moves, trying to go for a lucky hit, but Mr. not letting her have it. His frame data is too good. And Mr. with the up smash takes her first oh, stock. Oh, so far. Selen with a up straight into the air for some Why? unknown reason. BMing. She's oh, panicking. but she deposits him off stage. Deposits him like she's going to the bank. <laughs> Selen with the final the smash on down, deck. Will she use him. it or will she save it? She could she could have killed point, him. She, she could have killed well him a long time it. ago now. With the really down smash, off. the read! The roll read on Mr. Oh, Selene getting inside his head. Now but Ridley is, has to use it quickly. Ultimate before it and she jumps straight into his final smash oh, and gets wiped no. out immediately. Selene's cockiness Dang. not serving her well today. Because of that, she does get to hold some of her final smash, though. She could bring this back. That it's is very true. Possible. Although she is doing a lot of these very heavy moves. She's going for style points and it's not working well. She thought she was the apex predator, but Pikachu... Oh, but Selene with an edge, Selene with an edge guard. Selene with an edge guard, but Pikachu's recovery is just built that fucking different. So Final good. smash connects. It's a last dog situation. Okay. 72%. She really only has to get a couple good hits on him and then one smash. There is a chance. Or I didn't know you could see stage. you could see Samus' ship flying down in the background. I never knew that. Oh, yeah, he gets thrown immediately into Samus's ship and then blown up. It's a great final smash. Ooh. Oh, Mr. Answering with a lot of hitboxes Ooh, being thrown out. Thunder. Selene using the armor from that move. S Mr. going for the spike, but it uh. does not connect for some reason. It does manage to keep Selene really on the back foot. She's trying to get back on stage. But oh, Mr. going for the spike gets the sour Deep spot, but it's low. enough. Selen Tatsuki is out of the fight, and Mr. is not even awake to see it. The winner is Mr. Rios. That is so Mr. That freaking victory screen. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, con in it. Sorry, I already went to sleep. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's perfect. All right, do you want to introduce this one? Okay. With the power of the divine, a star fell into his eye, but it only made him more powerful. Able to see the future, reflect whatever's coming at him, and diss you while he's doing it while looking fabulous. Uki Violetta! <laughs> but in the opposite side, possibly the only person able to challenge his raw damage output. Satan Semi herself. Don't challenge her because you will be shown just how Hazukashi you are. Woo, Semi Sama! My voice cracked like a bitch. 
That Let was that begin. was Rosalie. Begin. That was Rosalie giving me the fear. Ugh. Rosamie actually came up and just j jabbed Folger in the throat and he was like oh. One, <laughs> She was like, no, 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 no Hazukashi you Rosamie proper. immediately opening up with her down B with that super armor Throwing the Patui out Now Piranha Plant has a lot of interesting projectiles with that Patui But Uki Violetta has he that reflector reflect any of them, yeah Rosalie opening up with a rapid jab and her down B Getting ready to use that oh. super armor to deal some long range damage and some shield pressure Rosemary with the up tilt. A lot of upward facing attacks. Reflected Not by the confusion. The down smash, down tilt. <gasps> Confused. Uki with a forward smash. Rosemary off stage, oh. but of course, Rosemary and her recovery. That's incredible recovery. Rosemary meta defining recovery. Oh, nice counter. Manages to tank everything. Going for an up smash read, not quite landing it. Rosemary trying to go for that massive disjointed back air. The oh. down air, not quite landing. Forward throw to put Uki off stage. Desperate for that down B edge guard. She really wants the down B. She should be using, yeah, these metal spikes. Rosamine getting so though. many oh. reads with those grabs, but Uki answering back with a grab of his own. Rosamine knows how deep she can go and is staying as deep as she wants. She's scaring yeah. Uki off, saying, daring him to come off stage. But that's going to be Uki. That's going to be Rosamine's first stock down, oh. answering back with the confusion ray and the forward smash. Uki so far just able to read Rosamine. Every time she goes for the down B, he knows exactly where it's coming from and avoids it. Dropping the confusion. Dropping PD Piranha, but PD Piranha jumps straight on, PD. off stage. What PD Piranha doing? commits suicide in front of her. Oh my God, it's a scene of devastation. You know what? No, no, no. PD Piranha, that was just that was just an intimidation tactic. That was him teabagging. Rosemi, and Uki gets the final Rosemi smash. very nearly dodges through it, but not quite enough. Oh, Uki goes to keep her off stage, but she And Uki takes slide. her second stock. Satan Zemi Jeez. no more being toyed with by the by the psychic at the same time so far Rosemi has been toying with oh Rosemi Rosemi with that disjointed smash. powerful back air immediately go. erasing Uki's first stock still one stock to two oh he reflects it but it does the up happen. smash taking her out Rosemi putting him off stage with the off stage down B oh does not quite connect but comes really close Rosemi really wants the down B that must be her equivalent of a tea bag in this Rosemary game. Rosemary preparing the poison. Shielding the oh. rapid jab. But it gets shield poked right at the end. Drops the poison. Yikes. Takes the back air. Nice. Does some damage to Uki with that poison while he has to recover. Just putting Dash in the attack, work. putting him off stage. Always to wants to go match. for that down B off stage. Desperate for that kill. She Ooh. wants the BM. She wants the glory. But is it and is it worth losing the Not match grand. to get it? Rosemary with oh, a severe loss. And not really understanding how do you... Uki is caught what by the final is smash. This is going to be his stock down. Oh. Rosemi answering back. Can she take it back? This is it. Rosemi just wanted a good finale. She didn't care about anything else. She wants to see this moment. Holds that Patui in the She's air for a for long sure. time. Rosemi with her signature spiky ball from the mouth, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's her dropping the Hazukashi. They both charge their projectiles in front of each other, ready for a fight. Uki has his final smash. And oh, she's caught Rosie by it. So I think that's it. No, that's Rosamy it, yeah. is taken out by Uki's final smash. And unfortunately... That Rose may have thorns, but it's been clipped. The winner <sighs> is Uki Violetta! Let's go, Psychic. He really does have the reads. Uki in this game just putting in work. He really is a super Psychic. All right. Coming up next, we have the Celestial Sky Dragon herself. It's Alira Pandora versus the Fox of Luck, the Fox of the Heavens. It's Nini Nina Kosaka. Let's see what happens. Let's go. This is going to be a good fight. These two are well matched. Can't wait to see Nina with those zero to death combos. Nina pulling out one of her many guns. That's why I think it's really good that this is a matchup against, um, yeah, Lyra Pandora. Lyra could actually counter those, whereas most people would just be comboed to infinity. It's true. Lyra could at least have a chance. Just down B, last second. Lyra can save herself it, for from being sure. taken to the blast zone. Which fits Lyra very much. Lyra never gives in. Now, Nina. Putting together an interesting string of combos, but struggling to make them go quite as far as she's able to. 
However, a good percent lead for Nina so far. Elira answering back, however, with a down air. A down smash puts Nina off stage. Can she tech this interaction? They both make oh, it back. They both make it back. Nina Alira going for the up smash the doesn't quite lane. make it. Nina trying to step on Alira can't quite get there just the up yet. Smash. This is such a close fight. The up air from from Alira sending her sending her way off stage. Stunned. The thing Forward smash. Alira. Sweet spot. Almost a stop. She, she is the ultimate stamina streamer. She will do an eight-hour stream like it's nothing. I'm pretty sure last week she streamed for 16 hours one day. Oh my on god. On multiple people's different channels. Oh my god. Did it like god. it was nothing. And but Alira answering back with that up smash read. She knows where Alira's gonna land. Luck is on her side and she takes Alira's first stock. Oof. <gasps> yeah. Nina's final smash coming out. Will she be able to connect it in time? Lyra dodge rolls. Oh, she avoids it narrowly. Roll. Yo, barely. Now, can Alira take, take a stock back, to though. make this final smash work? One up air will do it. One up tilt will do it. The forward tilt takes Nina's stock. Oh, let's go. Now she just needs to just use it. Just get some damage with it. Just don't waste it, Alira. Do not go for style points. Show oh, avoids that up smash. No. Alira avoid, but avoiding so much of Nina's output. The neutral on these two is absolutely ridiculous. So close. Honestly, going so hard. Nina counters oh, the projectile. Nina gets the witch forward time. tilt, forward tilt, up B, avoids it. Spot dodge, but Alira, Nina, sorry, reads the spot dodge and gets in a little bit of damage. Nina really did the witch time, said, I'm sorry, let me talk to your manager and came in with the combos. <sighs> Down smash, sending nice. Nina off Dodging stage. From both of them. The up smash. Nina is on the verge oh. of losing yet another stock. But can she get her final smash in time? In which case, this could be a massive turnaround. This could be a huge turnaround. All she would need is one more hit on Nina. She, Nina has the final smash. Can she get oh. down and hit a combo on Alira Run fast Alira enough? Retreat. I Why think she can. She lands the final smash. Alira had no fear, and that's an instant death. Oh, Bavado! Avocado deals with you. Nina with the avocado toast. <gasps> Nina, dash oh. dancing on him. Did you see that? She did a little. Yeah, she did a little. She did a little. Wee, 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 wee. Oh my god. She may live to regret <sighs> that, as it's that, still yeah. a very close game. One stock lead, but on Nina on a very high percent. But that rage is going to make kills all a little bit easier. Yeah. Alira so answering back with a forward angry. smash. Easily takes Nina off stage, Ooh. and she has a final, smash, a final smash on deck. She needs to use this one after she wasted the last one. She could end this. She just gets one good combo and then gets that final smash in. Her final smash is close range. She just needs to start hitting. And she's not managing to do it. Damn it. No Alira. final smash coming out for Alira. She's just got to rely on her neutral now, but she is on a lower percent. And Bayonetta has those combos and meaty smash attacks. Yeah. And Bayonetta may well get a third final smash in this. She's already gotten it. If too. it goes on long enough, it's I can see quite it happening. Long. Yeah. Doing the a down bit smash. Of damage with these pistols. And Nina Kosaka oh. with the down oh. smash spike to end the fight. And Lyra Pandora, the two heavenly creatures. One dragon has been knocked out by a fox. It's Nina Tosaka. Stepped on with the high heels the way so many others would have liked to go out. Ugh. How does it feel, Chad? Are you jealous? Oh my god, what a fight. Look at this. <laughs> I just realized in that fight we had the bare feet and the high heels. There were some people really enjoying that fight. <laughs> oh, and both of them. Pomu's back. Let's go. Uh, well, no, P Pomu got knocked out. It's it's um, Aya oh, versus, versus Reimu next. Yeah, literally, Aya we had. And and but by the way, both of those characters have moves where they stomp on you, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aya and Reimu is an interesting matchup. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think I've heard them attack each other just yet. I was being very relaxed when it came to our last game of Among Us, whereas Reimu was being Reimu. I can't wait to see them get together when Aya's at full energy. So this is going to be fun. <laughs>
In one corner, we've got the bully from heaven, Aya Amare, who destroyed Solid Pomu in a very close fight, getting ready to continue her win. It's Aya Amare versus another bully from across the globe, a ghost from 400 years ago, getting ready to bring her own set of roasts, representing Kirby. It's Reimu Endo! Begin! Let's go. Aya cast out of heaven and now she's been dealing with those stuck in purgatory. For and we're on a Kirby here. stage as well. It just, oh, it had no. to be that way. Reimu opening up with a large hammer. It makes sense. <laughs> just like Reimu, yep. Nothing held back, just going for the smashes. Aya throwing out all these hitboxes, getting ready to keep Reimu at range. If there's one weakness Kirby has is that his hitboxes are quite short. Oh, she does get the hammer, though, and instantly equalizes their percentage. Oh. But then Aya hitting her with some mean combos, back, yeah. charging a projectile, getting ready. Almost. But Reimu low profiles the Shadow Flare. Nice. Not, she can't low profile that one, Aya, though. She's got to get ready to around, take some yeah. damage. Will Aya be able to capitalize? <sighs> it's enough to kill. Reimu is sent oh, off stage immediately. But the Reimu dash attack. dodging into the air, thinking she's got this because she could fly around as a ghost, and no. The curse just comes back. Reimu is usually dealing the curses, not being here dealt with by them. Is a little known fact on release. We, Sakurai told us that Sephiroth was a light character, lighter than you would imagine. <laughs> As it turns out, Sephiroth is actually lighter than Kirby. Yeah. Either that or they're the same weight. I'm not sure. I think he is lighter than him, which is pretty wild, but makes sense considering the raw output damage. Raw he has. up smash from Reimu with the final smash still it's on still deck. Final smash. Will she get it? He, oh, Aya just hiding. Aya Hovering just by the angel point. platform, desperate the for a punish, and loses the final smash. If there's Aya. anyone in Niji Sanji EN who knows about a deprivation kink, it will be Aya. She knows how to mess with people. Let's go. <laughs> Aya sadly oh, denying that final smash, oh, deprivation. Denying, denying the finish. Right back in. Reimu did not give a damn. I hid and took the piss out of her. Reimu just came straight back down and said, I fucking dare you, bitch. Oh my god. This is so Sephiroth taking her off stage. Right now. The up smash being parried by Sephiroth. The back nice. air. Reimu is on thin ice, thin fucking ice right now. The up smash being oh. parried again. Reimu, down air. No, does she like have this. enough jumps to make it back? I don't. She does. She has enough jumps. She can make it back. Oh. Lands in there, sends Sephiroth off the other stage. Is it enough to take this back? We'll have to see. Oh, she went for the up Down smash. Reimu hitting some mean combos. Nice. And she's so close to getting her final smash. That could be enough to at least take one more stock with ease. Oh, Using a down I B to reach so the ledge well. quicker. Denying Aya that edge guard. Look at Aya just... Oh my god! Reimu from deliberately oh. fast-falling her forward air to land the first two hits to start to start the hit stun, but not yeah. locking her away so she can guarantee the F-Smash. But Sephiroth's F-Smash is almost there. She lands the death. Oh. The offstage interaction could have taken it, but the forward tilt oh. just pricks Reimu, ah, and she is sent off stage. Aya Amari continues moving. her chaotic run through hell. Your winner is Aya Amari. Yeah. So in character. Let's go. Fuck me. That was and a close one. And the one-winged angel walks back through the flames. <sighs> Fuck me. All right, everybody. It's time for things to get serious. We are beginning our quarterfinals. But nothing but champions coming through now. I have to. I just have to start, start this one in one in corner. One corner. Further than King DDD, Petra. Further than Terry, Luca, carving a path against her enemies. It's Finana, Ryugu, the fish, versus the monkey from the jungle. He's angry, he's hungry, and this fish looks kind of like a banana. Representing Donkey Kong. Here, here, here we go. It's Vox Akuma. Begin. Uh, Queen of the oceans versus the king of this land. Let's see. King of the jungle. Bum 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 bum. 
immediately opening oh. with the cargo up throw, the ding dong, multiple up airs, Vox Alguma putting some damage on her right away, using those grabs and those throws, trying to answer with a nair, but Finana's edge guarding and her recovery is just too swift. You Tries think to go Finana for a running would be do the one doing the combos, but so far Vox has been carrying her up into the air and just Monkey not running on combo. Land. Ooh, ooh, jab two, down Good tilt nice again, nothing. Now. Throwing out hitboxes. Double punch, taking Fanana up into the air, away from the water. I like this stage for this as well. We've got the jungle in the background, the water in the, the water in the middle. Perfect for you two. Oh, but the, the side B from Finana is sending me oh! really far off stage. Just about making it back. The side B not going <sighs> to knock it down to the ground. But the down tilt, a nice read from me. Even percentage. Who's it going to be to take the first stock? Miss paces the grab. The shadow, the, the fucking shadow step misses as well. Oh, I'm going nuts. Down tilt, up smash. Two parries in a row. The back throw takes the stock. Yo, Vox Arkuma really gave her a few little smacks and then just threw her away. Oh. oh, the grab, the spot dodge. Finana's a spot dodger and it's working for her. The up air, Greninja's up nice. air killing for once in, a, in yeah, its fucking cool. life. And Finana and with like the final smash on deck. Even. <gasps> but she Will catches she it. it. Vox Arkuma is way too greedy wanting the combos and Finana answers back with a final smash getting him to 47% without m so much as a second thought. But his final smash is almost on deck and she's at a higher percent. Can he bring it back? The percentages are already evened out. That's that heavyweight difference, baby. Yeah, he doesn't even need to do anything. If he gets that final smash, what do you need to do? And there it is! Banana Slava! <sighs> Vox Alchema answering back, shielding against all of Finana's attacks, getting ready, charging that giant punch. Choosing Oof. to roll away instead of fishing for a shield grab, he clearly is better at the game than me. <laughs> Level 9 CPUs never miss, man. <laughs> It's going really Hanging on the edge, oh. being patient, not getting cocky. The opposite of what I would do in this situation. Text the yeah, impact. If anything, he's gotten more defensive as this went on, which is kind of wild. It's the last thing I would do. Spinning forward like tilt, a forward tilt, catching her approach. The opponent. Yeah, just back. The neutral her away is when she comes ridiculous. Here. The hitbox is being avoided. The micro spacing. I'm watching two professionals at work. But Finana with the up smash, catching a very foolish aerial oh. from Fox. Who will it be is to take the final stock? Close? And she's so close to getting a final smash. If she just gets a few He's got to stop off, approaching with those nares. She totally knows how it. to answer it. She knows his game plan. Using the cargo throw. Final smash on deck. But is oh, he high enough percent to, to die from it? Not quite yet. No, she misses the final good. smash. No, Finana. But lands the neutral B. Dealing a fair amount of damage. Shadow step. Landing. Shadow sneak, she sorry. She can always deal this by just carrying him off the stage. Lands well. a counter. A Sends off stage. Fox range, counters. The, the back end oh, stage. Fox Alchemist takes it. The man kicked him. Oh, God, Finana, that was painful. Vox Alchemist puts his foot on, B on Finana's back and says, Stay down, fish. Oh, the monkey is still in the fight. Oh, God. It is I'm Millie. Gonna, I'm just going to post this in chat. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Let me look. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What is it? I'm just waiting. Fog is going to send something. <laughs> Might have to save that, that joke up. for a Niji cancelled collab. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Not Niji cancelled, so we're going to skip over that We're going to skip over it, but just know <laughs> we're thinking something we don't want you to know. All right. Folga, would you like to do the honors? Oh, yeah. In this corner, the Dommy Mommy herself, the Enchantress who could cure your ailments or just make you wish that she had damaged you instead. Scala! Gonna step on you with them thigh highs. You gotta love it. And in the other corner, the Witch of Calamity, the pure gremlin of chaos, Coming in with her broom, her house building abilities, and her reading tactics that will leave you hit by the trap card. Millie Buffy! Begin! <laughs> I was like, it's just normally he does that. <laughs> I was muted, I was, I was, I was having a snack.
Oh, you good? <laughs> on Pokemon Stadium, a completely flat stage with a Final Destination Omega style. Scala opening up with a nag, putting some damage in. is perfectly at home. Scala has never been this flat before. Does not know what's going on. Let's go. Millie has yet to land a single attack. Scala is throwing out hitboxes like it's no tomorrow. Oh, Remember, we just knocked off stage. Both of them make it back. Classes. Scala right now is bringing her to school and teaching her what combo means. But Ooh. Millie parries that forward smash. That would have been a clear, a clear uh, kill, an easy kill. But Millie doesn't give a shit. She parries it because she's just built fucking different it. like that. She grabs him. She's getting ready to set up her trap cards. Millie is showing she is all about the tactics too. Getting that little tiny hammer, but Scarlet just barely dodges it, grabs Millie out of the shield, taking her into the air. But but it's oh, not quite Millie's enough. Charging, charging the charging the bow early. right in feet, right in Millie's oh! face, right in Millie's face, and Millie does nothing to stop it. Millie thinks she's going to approach, gets ready to grab her, and Scarlet's like, no no no, I'll wait for you to come to me. She dodge rolled through her trap card and just held fast with her shield. Said since no, did, you ain't grabbing since... me with that little fishing rod. Please answer. Oh, since when did Scarlet's dick get this big? Oh. She does have her final smash, though. She could even this immediately. She, she catches him on the ledge. Damage. Scarlet waits on the ledge a little too long. The invincibility we wears off, okay. and Millie builds the box and takes her to the street. Didn't quite get to activate her final smash, so she's <gasps> about to get but final Scala smash. But Scarlet answering back immediately it's with an offstage good. final oh. smash, summoning it's Aya back oh. from the other bracket. And it's, a, and it's an go. uneven situation. Scala with a clear lead. The up air, the nair, the up B, the side B. 50% yes. on the table before Millie Parfait can blink. 52% out of nowhere. And one thing that I love about Scala, she goes for the kill. <gasps> if she has the her forward final smash, smash, she takes the blast. That's it. That's it. Oh. She hit a forward smash. The sweet spot at 50%. She's fucking dead. Millie tried to play tactical. She laid down her trap card, but Scarlet just really said, oh, you thought. Brought out the spear, showed her what range was all about, and took her out. Oh, man. Domination. Scarlet, your agony. I love how <laughs> Mister's matchups have only ever been against people canonically much more powerful than him, and yet he has yet to lose. He's a human detective. <laughs> and he's, and yeah. <laughs> he's just bumbling his way through. He kind of reminds me of uh, Domino from Deadpool. You know, like, just, what's her superpower? I'm lucky. She's kind of making it. I guess that's it. the whole thing. Like, wasn't his whole thing is he wasn't a particularly good detective. It was just he was super lucky. So he found the solutions to everything. This is his way going through entirely. He's, he's bumbling his way through and he'll probably end up in the finals. Mister, you bumbling fucking idiot. You've killed a celestial sky dragon. The sky is falling. <laughs> he's killed... Oh my god, yeah. I want to see a Breaking Bad parody where I'm Walter White and Mr. is Jesse Pinkman. Yo, I would actually love to see that because you could probably do the voice too. <laughs> Mr. you've been spending too much time on the Los Poyos Hermanos DS game. All right, enough, enough goofing, enough goofing. We have... In one corner, it's the lucky detective who's made it past every powerful opponent that's crossed his path. It's M -m 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 Mr. Rias! But opposite him might be his strongest opponent yet. The psychic who can fly, shoot, shoot balls of purple energy, shoot balls normally, and mind control, read the future. It's fucking Uki via fucking la da 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 Begin. This is going to be a great matchup. Because Uki's reads have been so good the whole way through, but at the same time, Pikachu just so fast. Mr. Me oh. Uki answering and immediately. And for Mr. Mr. with the platforms will be able to capitalize on these he so well. He's going to be extending combos. his combos for days and days and days if he can catch them. And unfortunately for Uki, his hitbox with that tail is so huge. But Uki mm. answering with a lot of offstage gaming. Uki doing his best, swinging around that big dick energy, but Mr. is just unfazed by it. Mr. has said continuously, he wears his fetishes on his sleeve. He is not afraid of this. He's ready to go. He is not intimidated by how dumb Uki can be. Exactly. 
Uki's Mr. like, is uh, ready to challenge him back. Uki Uki's gets like, Tom I'll and Mr. is just you, like, boy. are you kidding me? I, I was born like, for this. I was born for this. It's like, uh, yes, and? <laughs> <laughs> I only just realized this is Pokemon versus Pokemon, too. Yeah, too. Focus too much on the characters behind them. <laughs> I guess it's a sign that this format is working. Uki with the up throw. Exactly. It's actually a very close match. Uki with the oh, up air, almost so managing to kill to Pika, but Mr. Just a little too heavy. He's been eating a bit too much of that soggy ass rice. Hey man, I respect that rice. Did you see the way he did his chicken? The fact that his stomach can survive that shows how powerful Mr. is. He's just been building up a slow resistance to it over his entire life. Yeah. Everybody's worried about Pilk. Meanwhile, Mr. Eating raw chicken coated in coke. And he's just like, fuck it. You know, Salmonella, Salmonella. I'll make Salmonella my bitch. Uki with the final smash. Catches Mr. at the top of the screen. It's not quite an instant kill. I was oh. a little worried there, but it's 0%. Not going to send it very far. And Mr. No, with the read. Answering back with his down B. The thunder. He brought the thunder. 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 Mr. Beginning thunder. a combo with his back air. Not able to follow up. Uki answering back with a forward air. This is the raw been one fucking forward smash, Uki. but Mr. dashes from off stage with the final smash well. and immediately oh. catches Uki. It's even. It's an even game. It is even. That was so good. A Send beautiful the blast zone. Could have gotten in with the thunder there, but just left off. Just relaxed a little bit. And Uki keeping him at range right now with the tail and the psychic powers. The up, the, oh, the, the up tilt, the up tilt, the confusion, Let making Mr. Uki. really confused. Uki the jab. Uki is the first one to give Mr. a run for his money. Will he be able to take it back? Let's have a look. Uki, straight up changing up tactics and saying, you know what? Fine. I'm going to put you on top, bitch. Trying to send him into the blast zone. Not at all afraid Mr's of being put a on power bottom in this bout. <laughs> Mr.'s put on top and he panics. He's never been given that much power before and he, he doesn't know what to do with it. No, he's choking. He's <gasps> just dancing around. How, shooting How did that up smash miss? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. The dodge. Mr. is so powerful right now. After eating all that food, Mr. is more dead than alive. He's passing into the spirit realm to avoid these attacks. And unfortunately, it looks like he might send Uki to the shadow realm. Oh, Uki dodged. <gasps> the reads from Uki are impressive And as well. the B-reverse up smash, oh, taking Mr. The... to the fucking park. Yo. Okay, just ahead of him. Mr. is going to get his smash, but at the same time, if Uki does some damage and gets it before he loses this stop. Mr. with the down smash somehow not killing at that Ooh. high percent. How? He tries to catch a low recovery, but but Uki anticipates it and recovers high. Uki tries to confuse him off stage. Oh, reflect the Nair, the not enough to kill. The up air, just barely not killing. Oh, how is he alive? Uki is reflecting mad the projectile, right using his up B on stage to dance around Mister. Uki has hit the Yandere mode. He has hit the moment he did in Goose Goose Duck, where he was just like, "Shut the fuck up! This is my time." Oh. So and with the so final close. smash, but it's a little too late, pushing Uki to 200% and exploding him right as right yeah. as it goes into it. But is that enough? That's the problem. Uki does not mind being exploded on. At that point, that was what he wanted. He just didn't want it to happen in the next stock. Uki, Uki, Daisuke, let's see what happens. Daisuke with D-I-E, by the way. I should have emphasized that. <laughs> <laughs> Die! Now, Mr. is already on a high enough percent. One strong move off stage will be enough to take him to the blast zone. A forward tilt. It does it! Uki Violetta knocks Mr. out of the oh. tournament. And Mr. has been dominating so much throughout this. He still held really fast until the second stock there. That was so close. When Uki said, no, bitch, and then just fucking killed him with a gun. Yeah. I love, like, you can imagine, like, Mewtwo's sassy eyes right there. He's just saying... You thought. You really thought. <laughs> it's so perfect. Oh my god. It's oh, all man. the heavenly creatures. We've got we a go. heavenly yeah. bout coming up next. In the red corner, it's the goddess of luck herself, the fox of heaven, both rejected by heaven itself. It's Nina Kosaka. And in the blue corner, we've got the demonic hellish entity from heaven itself, this angelic maiden who just doesn't want to put any of her weapons on the tray when she goes to the airport. It's Aya Hamare! Begin! <laughs> and this is going to be great as well. These women were both cast out of heaven. Uh, 
various reasons. That, <laughs> we that, saw the reasons at least They're fighting for that to right Ohio. to go home again. No, they don't want to go home. They're fighting for that right to be queen of this realm. Ah, They're like, nah. I like it. This is more fun, and this is where I want to be. And this ain't big enough for two bitches from heaven. Earth. Let's go. I call it fun. Oh, man. Nina answering with a lot of combos, but Aya keeping her at range. This is going to be an interesting fight because Sephiroth has those long, disjointed hitbox with Masamune, his sword. But unfortunately, Bayonetta is a lot faster and has those combos that can keep you in them for days at a time. So we'll have to see. It's, it's a question of whether or not Nina can actually approach or if Aya will keep her at range. The projectiles... With the 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 the, 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 the mega flare sending in. Nina off stage Kill at like seventy percent. But Nina answering Big back with a dash attack, pushing Seth off the stage. Doesn't want to deal with mommy's shit right now. The wing is coming out, fallen angel. Let's go. Super armor on those smash attacks. Nina trying to answer back, getting an up B, but it's not uh. enough to make a kill. Yeah, Nina tries to step on her. Aya just ca casually dodges it, takes the one little hit, and gets ready for more. Anything, Aya's just getting more powerful by this. For anyone who doesn't know at home, Aya oh! a massive fan of Nina Kosaka. Ready to be stepped on at any time, and she got what she wanted. Let's go! And Nina coming out with the final smash, bringing it back, and now ready. But Aya is abusing that ledge intangibility, and it's not enough for Nina to get her final smash out. Meanwhile, oh. Aya brings out her final smash. Will it be enough? If it will be enough to kill this percent, this, and she just death. about hits it. With the tip, yes! tip, tip of the tits. Aya showing she may have been cast out of heaven, but she could still become a seraphim and wreck your shit. Oof. Um, it's still close, though. It is still, it's Nina still close. Still bring this back. Remember she how light. Of luck. Remember how light Sephiroth is. Any strong hit can send him to the blast stone before you know it. But Aya is putting ahead a commanding lead. I also like how Aya was so musical with that one. Her combo right there matched up with the music perfectly. Bam, bam, bam. It was so good. Aya and Aya with a forward smash there. off stage. Oh. Nina's just fucking dead. That Maybe was... Nina was giving luck to the opponent in that one. That felt a bit dirty. <laughs> when, 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 Pomu, when Pomu allowed Aya to win, she unleashed a hell upon the world that I don't think any of our next contestants are ready to face. Aya takes the gold in this round. And that now is the, the end is, of round three. Will the psychic be able to hold up against her? Or will she be going to the finals? Enter the semifinals. I am scared of what is about Yo! to happen. Yo! It's the battle of the Red King and Queen! It's, it's red, red versus red. Versus red. Under, the Under the table, table guests. guests. Which, Which will come out on top. top. It's the Enchantress, the Enchantress. Scarlet Yonaguni with her sassy Violet versus Vox Akuma with his funky monkey. Welcome to the jungle, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Time to find out if the Enchantress will show the voice demon how it's done in enchanting people. I don't have faith in myself for this one. Aya's hitboxes, they're so long, they can keep Donkey Kong at range, but, and also Donkey Kong's strength is edge guarding, but Byleth has that recovery, but already hitting them with the down tilts. The side B, catching Donkey Kong with the sweet spot, but I just want to swipe at Scar. I just want well. to touch Scarla's toes. What can I say? You're just casually grabbing at those thighs. She is not resisting too much. She just takes the damage and comes back to deal more to you. You love to see it. It's an even bout so far. It's a two people who don't give a fuck. They just want to smash each other. Let's go. Oh, but Aya with the, but Aya, sorry. Scarla Ooh. with the combo, kissing him in the air. That was actually so dangerously good. close. Maybe a down air might have actually killed, even at that low percent. Misses the up B. Vox needs to find a way in. The combos are so good, but Vox Akuma saw it coming that time. Dodged He's the left. so heavy. I'm such coming. a fat boy. It's going to oh! take more than that to kill me. But Aya, just, uh, Scarla, I keep calling her Aya, just no! about missing that combo. For a heavyweight, no. it's still on. But the arrow catches me off stage. He's oh, got to so bring it back. Blastone? She just said, nah, you ain't coming back. Your time Will the final gone, smash be enough man. to take her out? Got to put her Stay off stage. in the past. Air dodges through the, through the forward smash. And the final smash, <laughs> wasting it a little, but taking her off stage and wiping out her final smash in the process. True. That was definitely worth it. That's the best thing you could have done at that point. Oh, now it's nice. Back to even. Only slight difference is that Scarlet could get her final smash back earlier. 
even then, she probably won't get a third one by I'm the just, end. I'm just... I'm praying that I do what I would do and go for some stupid fucking... Oh, there's no way she was going for that shit. There's no... If I... I would, I would have oh, ended the Jesus. battle. Oh, I would have conceded. Left. I would have... I would that have would conceded have the fight. Right there, yeah. I would have just let her win. But right you now, it's... You were talking it's... about wanting to do your big dick energy and Scala said, nah, let me show you how it's done. She's about to hit me with oh. a final smash. Hit her with a forward smash! What are you doing? What are oh, you in it? You're an idiot sandwich! Around, Come on, Vox! You've got your... Ultimate. You what fucking idiot! Doing? What are you doing? Final yes! He had a clear punish. Here it comes. Aya. Lost dog situation. Vox has to take it home. <sighs> let's see. Let's see. You could totally bring this back. One forward smash. Could have taken her off stage, right but chose not to. Air dodges through the through the up smash. The banana slammer not going to quite hit. Not quite. Can I hit Ooh, him with a slap slap clap? The dodge. The combo. Those big hitboxes catching the heavy. Very used to dealing with undead historic creatures. So ready to take Just on catching me at every opportunity. Oh, the up tilt taking me out. But will the final again? smash be enough to take her down a stock? The, de oh. the, the dash attack taking her off stage. I'm getting a little nervous. The back air. She takes it. Dodging so much. Why do they bother going for stage bikes? The AI just automatically takes everything. Exactly. It's a, it's a final stock, stock situation. Lost his final smash. And Vox just she takes it to the fucking face. God fucking damn it. Oh, Your winner is Scala Yonaguni. Scala really said Really just took that shit to the. Took that shit to my legs. urethra. Jesus Christ. Not what I wanted Jesus. to see. No. Listen, I made, it, I, I, I made it that far with a mid low tier. I'm satisfied with, with uh, third or fourth place. Semi final? Yeah. Not disrespectful at all. Very respectful. All right. Do cool. you want to do the honors? Okay. We have the psychic who can predict every move. The man who speaks in Latin, lulls you into a false sense of security, and then destroys you with everything at his disposal. The power of stars, the power of the future. Uki Violetta! And in the other end, someone with just as much angsty energy, just as able to devastate you with her words as with her actions. Aya Amare! Begin! 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 I pressed OK and my fucking live streaming window crashed. I've got to reload that. Okay, okay. let's go! <laughs> One, go! Let's go. Uki opening up with a lot of aerial attacks, but will it be enough? 35% on the board immediately. Yeah, Uki not taking this. Has seen what I has been doing so far and, and is now able to read it all. No confidence from him. He is just prepared to do what he needs to do. <gasps> Reflects the... That's it! The first stock is out of the oh game immediately! Oh my god! Uki read that. Oh... I is good at writing, but Uki so good at fucking reading. Just devastates. She could not plot that, that out any better if it was one of her D&D &D runs. Mm. This is the problem right here. We've seen Uki when it comes to battles like this. He loves to min-max. He does not mess around with just playing with lore. Is His enough? thing is, is he enough? is the psychic with the power of the star and able to do anything that he wants to. And right now, he is proving that against Ayamare. Absolutely devastating. Waits out the up smash so with that floatiness. He's not prepared to come Oof. near that. Aya's hitboxes might be long, but they're not long enough to catch Uki when he's in the sky. Is that Uki enough for a punish? He definitely could have got a punish there. Long Uki might genuinely be toying with Aya because that was definitely enough for a punish. A failed Octa Slash grabbing the ledge would have been enough, but Uki chooses not to. He chooses to let her live. Yeah, Uki wants to finish this properly. He charged up. And she misses potential. the final smash. Uki coming oh. in with his own, sharking from below the ledge and blasting her specifically away. He B Off reverses it. Who the fuck How is this Mewtwo? He specifically sent it the wrong way so that it would send I've her off never stage. I've seen that happen before. Uki has just invented a tech for this game. I've seen Link reverse up B. I've never seen... Freaking Mewtwo reverse Oh, Ultimate but caught smash. by the Giga, the the the, 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 oh. the Mega Flare, whatever the fuck it's called. One of the variations of the Flare. He could have reflected it, but instead he just took that. He, he was ready for it. Playing with he won, he wanted point. to feel a little pain. He wanted a little blood on his hands. He wanted to feel yeah. what it was like. 
wanted to remember what it was like back at the facility. It's come so far since then, and he wants to show Aya. There is more than one sending her off stage. Who's Jab been through some shit sending her off stage. Life. Counter sending him back on stage. Oh, he's so getting a little nice risky count. with these edge guards. I are trying to hold on. The Nair sending her off stream. her at ledge the entire time. Will he block these? No, he tanks them. He doesn't even care. At every opportunity, he landed. He could have put up shield. He said no. Nah, and a forward smash from Aya right takes Uki off stage. Damn. Listen, they're both light. It could it could go either way. I've got confidence and in Uki. But both final, final smashes on smashes. stage. It catches oh Aya. She's out. So close. It was so long range. Uki Violetta is one of your Niji EN finalists. We have our finals. Just like Uki said when it came to the law stream, pretty much untouchable, literally became deified with the power of star in his eye, able to see the future with telekinesis and psychic powers. And now he's fighting Scala the Enchantress. In the left corner. She has proven herself against all odds, against everyone who would challenge her. She showed Yugo what it was like to be toyed with. She even defeated a giant monkey. And remind me who it was she fought before that. I, I can't, I, I'm forgetting. It doesn't show on the thing. Sonic. Sonic after Sonic. There was another one after Sonic. Oh, Hugo, and then I don't know. It's blocked. <laughs> it's blocked. Somebody else. She's killed everyone else that she had at her disposal. Millie. She wiped Millie. Uh, wiped the floor with Hugo, Millie, and then wiped the floor with me as well. Scarla has proven herself, and it's time for the hour of the Enchantress in the left corner in the final. Scarla. But in the right corner, we have the Clutch King himself. Not only does he manage to take on Vor V1s in Valorant, he is able to put in the work in Minecraft, build himself a castle worthy of rivaling the Akuba Castle, always able to take on every enemy that came on him, from Zuma to Satan Semi themselves, to Mr. Rius with the Lock of the Gods, and finally taking out Aya Amare from heaven above, Uki Violetta! Let's do this. Let's do this. Wow. Scala is really in this to avenge uh, Iluna. <laughs> All of Iluna has members. fallen on this one side, and now Aya is ready to take. And now Scala is ready to take. I keep getting. I, I don't know why I keep saying Aya. <laughs> Scarlet it's immediately answering with the forward air, going for a spike, but not quite getting it. Uki knows oh. what's happening, and he goes for a high recovery. He answers back with a forward air and a dash attack, and now the percents are even, but Aya, uh, Scala answers back with a nair. These combos are going absolutely wild. Uki able to read everything, dodging all around the place, but Scala just has such Scala good with two legs. up there, sending Uki way towards the blossom, Ooh, and a perfectly spaced forward air as well. The arrow's coming out, almost catches it, but Uki with a perfectly timed, <sighs> timed dodge. Uki able to read that luckily, but not, oh, barely able to block that one. The Scala up smash catches him, and Uki's arrow. out for the count. Damn, 29% and Uki's already done. Scala not even teabagging this time. She's showing some respect to this opponent. But Uki is not phased by it. Scala one. can't enchant him because he doesn't go for women. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> doesn't bother to dance. Doesn't bother to show off the booty. And She's he uses like, his no, final smash. And that power. might be enough. It takes her out. Kill. And it's back Let's to go. an even situation. 50% okay. is enough to Me bring too. it back. Mewtwo's damage is a little nuts. But Scala with these combos is going a little crazy. Yeah, not letting him- Oh my away. god, oh. she turned the tech into the she final smash! She turned it into final smash off stage. She does not waste a final smash. Every final stash has been off stage and an instant kill. Scarlet just does not give a fuck. Even in the final, Scarlet refuses to back down. I bet she's gonna start going for the axe now. Now she's gonna play with it. With the up smash at the top of the stage. It might be enough. It's not oh, quite enough. Just she's on a high percent now, but lands that sweet spot that fell the donkey. Nice. Yep, so much percentage already on Uki. Even though he's been doing good, keeping her off stage and in the air. The up air. She is juggling the on. shit out of Uki like, like she's a clown at a circus. She's yep. making me feel like a clown. 
the back air. Uki is so Ooh. close to losing. All it's going to take is one more no. solid hit. And there. But Uki has his final smash on deck. He uses it. It's a final stock situation. Uki going for the instant final smash just as a gallop. Who is it going to be? Well respected. Scholar about to get her ultimate smash though. Could be she was waiting Misses to summon Aya. A beautiful little combo from Uki, but only 22% on deck. Scala has the advantage, but Uki is hitting a number of clean hits. The up air, he is so nearly dead. Oh God. And Scala has a final smash. Uki, Scala you cannot let her hit you with smash. this. You've got to be Will careful. The aggro from Uki, and that does it. Your winner uh, of the, of the Niji and Smash CPU tournament is Scala. Yo, Nagoni. Aya in support, the power of heavens on her side. Everyone fallen beneath her, every tactic at her disposal, every weapon at her feet. The low angle shot of her high heels, that is Scala through and through. You love to see it. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Yeah, that was actually incredible. <laughs> that was way more hyper finale than I thought it would be. Holy shit. Well, I everybody... I we just start to see, like, some very obviously broken characters just crushing. But that was intense the whole way through. Hold on. I'm going to screen... I'm going to get a screen cap of this. There we go. I've got a screen cap. And so we should... Actually, if I use the little uh, the thingy, I should be able to quickly take a screenshot of this now because the winner deserves recognition the winner deserves a tweet oh yeah i'm taking it Scarlet to twitter taking it your winner is scala yonaguni actually it doesn't say the enchantress of en your winner is scala yonaguni and i'm gonna put a little and you know what's even better in a few days, she's going to be cooking up some copium for anyone who needs it after she stomped all over them. And that is a fucking tweet. And the tournament is brought to an end. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us today. I had a wonderful time co-commentating with my brother, Folger, and I'm so glad that you got knocked out a little bit before I did, so I can hold that over you for just, <laughs> just, just a little while. That's some, that's, that's I got one knocked out me. on my first fight. I just got to skip the first fight. So, yeah, my first fight, I went out to Millie Parfait. Absolutely devastated. Now, Folger, I'm going to ask you a question. Let's go. For all time's sake, mm -hmm. do you want to do a 1v1? I could definitely do that. One minute. I haven't charged my three my switch. It should be fine. I will be there in a second. My man. To round out the stream, we've got a rematch between the Lamb brothers. I'm most definitely gonna lose. Oh, I can get... oh damn, he, he leaned over a little bit. I want to give him a little kiss on the back of the head. And of course, Fifi is immediately in my replies, hating on Kazuya. I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna clap back. Actually, that's a way better screenshot. I should have used that. Never mind. I'm immediately going to clap back with a Sonic main. Instant devastation. That was fun. That was a really, really fucking fun stream. Holy shit. How are you guys doing? You been holding up okay? Alright, I am going to hide the screen real quick. So that I can set up a arena with my buddy Folger, and we're just gonna have a little bit of a bout. Because I have been practicing for a little while. I feel like I'm a little more confident in my Ganondorf than I am in my Kazuya now, so who knows? Time to set a password that no one will guess. He 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 he. Okay, slight problem. <laughs> oh yeah. You know how when you haven't charged your switch for a long time, it does that thing where it has to be charged for like 15 minutes just to turn on? Ah, uh, no. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll save it for another time. Yeah, we'll save it for a different day. There That's is that right, other mate. thing, Smash-related, that we're planning. At the end of that one, we could 100% do another one-on-one. -on -one. 
I can't remember what that what that was going to be. I mean, we did talk about the possibility of getting an amiibo for everybody, but that would take a long time to train them all with certain behavior and everything. But, you know, did, was there another Smash thing we were planning? There was, but we won't spoil it. We'll leave it for That's a true. I, I must be forgetting. I've had, a, I've had a weird few days, so I've just been, uh, you know, struggled to remember. But that's fair enough to you. All right. Everybody, thank you so much for coming out. I had a wonderful time hosting this tournament with my buddy and my brother, Folger, for a little while. My, 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 my mother, Folger, my brother, Folger. And so that's going to be <laughs> all too. from it us for today. It was such high energy. You carried that. It was incredible. And I had so much fun. I'm sure the viewers at home did. I adored it as well. My man, it was a pleasure hanging out with you again. And hopefully this encourages just a few more people to get involved with Smash Bros. So that's going to be all from us. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Your Thank winner you. once again, Scala Yonagoni. My dear friend. Bow, bow. She shot them down and now she's ready to run home. Victorious. Victorious. That's all from me, everybody. Have a good day, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Later.